long for like, like a <laughs> men's review, which in, admittedly was very entertaining, but it was not necessarily super sexy. Probably because they were really far away, and also I was not interested in that. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome oh, to Etsy. Wow. A way to warn me. There was breakfast buffet at the strip club. No, no. Or... You, but you did let us buffet? know. There was one in the baby I went to. They had a breakfast absolute, buffet. Absolutely worth it. It I'm, was. It was I, 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 I unmuted was the food? mics as you finished the story, but oh. now everybody knows. Was it good food? Yes. Surprisingly, yes. They made omelets. Okay. Yeah. How much was the cover? The cover was like, <laughs> the cover was like uh, I think it was like 20 bucks. And I was like, because I was oh. like, okay, this is a high class, you know, much nicer place. I mean, well, like, how did it, how did it compare to the omelet that you get at like a, an actual like diner? Better. Like, uh, here's Waffle Brain. Here was them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was yeah. I was all about that. And that's like, not a whole lot more than you pay at like a fancy breakfast place. Yeah, I was gonna it, say. It was a good breakfast too. Okay. And I'm assuming it was unlimited, right? Yes. Even better. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, having just style. gotten back from where I went on vacation. I mean, it was weird, mind you. As Fucking I'm, crazy. There's, there's a girl on the stage, and I'm like, I'll take some mushrooms and tomatoes in my omelet, please. <laughs> Some cheese, Thank you. Yeah, can you throw some onions in there? Get it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Even some of the girls were coming over. Like, yeah, like, okay. We'll take a break. <laughs> All right. So last session was technically a one shot and just a little fun game since Mia over here was on vacation. How was that? It was awesome. Unless you have to buy your food, which I did. It was still <laughs> awesome, but it was really since we're talking about breakfast, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the best meal of the day. The food prices in really? California breakfast is are good. kind of astronomical unless you're Our only eating vegetables has in which case. Eating in the morning. We can eat breakfast. <gasps> we'll get breakfast in the morning. Yeah, I eat breakfast sometimes at like five o'clock in the morning. I can't eat breakfast anymore because I can't eat bread or eggs. Oh, I, I can't can eat too. bacon. Because why can't you I've eat never bread and to eggs? Hug someone and uh, why can't you eat bread and now? eggs? That's a shame. Yeah. Hmm. I would like imagine so. Biscuits or eggs. But Does sushi count as breakfast food? It can wherever you are. Any food you eat in the morning can count as breakfast. I don't know. I feel like if you're eating sushi in the morning, it's probably not the freshest. Well, it depends. They catch fish in the morning. That's that's when do, fish happens. But they don't get it to the markets and the restaurants yeah, by that's the fair. morning. That's fair. Yeah. Put no. Put no. The only toys that, big that go on this table are now runners. Are minis. Did I? I still haven't actually. Oh, no, we made him the White Ranger. Okay. And I was like, did yeah, we? Yeah, ever... because you had a dot and that was a. Yeah. Okay. Wait, we gave but... him a name last time, too. I mean, well, he had a name. Wasn't it name Owen oh. or something? We, name? we will. His we name will was Jimmy Dean. Dracula Boy. <laughs> nope. Dracula Boy was the other person. <laughs> Dracula Lover XX666. Oh, right six, six, six. This isn't like that. <laughs> anyway. Why did y'all let me name a character? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Since, um, since technically last game was a one shot, we won't do a review on that one. That one is not exactly canonical. It was fun, though. It was, it was, it was fun. Well, it wasn't canonical. Was that Not you completely. arguing that it was canonical or it was fun? He was trying to take his tokens into the real world. <laughs> it was, yeah. But who would like to give a, a quick synopsis on what happened in the last story-based game? We're about to die! We all teleported to the place where the bad guy is. That's really, like, <laughs> the bulk of it. Uh, we had our Guardians of the Galaxy moment. We're all standing like a bunch of jackasses. We fought some uh, anarchists at the top. We, nope. We talked to the fortune teller lady. Uh, analogies. Excellent. There we go. <laughs> I like analogies. Yeah. I feel like that's better. We fought a bunch of analogies on the roof. Wow. I stayed far away and shot them with a rifle. We focused fire. We did not focus fire. <laughs> I focused fire. Focused on the one I was doing. We tried. 
I like, yeah, we're focusing on killing the bad guys. <laughs> I mean, literally, if we had known what focus fire meant before you told us <laughs> to do it, because you said focus fire, and we were like, uh, we're not familiar with FPSs. Does does that mean that I'm literally the only one who attacked the same guy the whole goddamn time? Yes. Yes. I mean, I really thought that I wouldn't even need to say it because they were healing themselves and we all saw it. Yes. Kill the ones that they're healing. The more damage you deal, the more experience. You want AoE effects. And then we all touch the thing. What is that? There's a boot. Is there any way we could not? It like that, yeah. The port key. <laughs> we touched the glowing thing. You touched the glowing ball, the pothole. They told the, us the glowing the pot device. Well, they also, told us to touch it, and we did. Well, also that lady came that, that I is, never met her before. We to. Yes. Everyone yeah. else knew her. Lady she Amara. was like, "Hey, you, you guys do your best, champs." And well, we're like, no. "Cool, you can help us." And she was like, "No, I gotta go see Saruman at his tower, so I can conveniently be gone when actual trouble arrives." But refresh us on all your spells. You're talking about Gandalf? I could be. You think Gandalf bounced so he would <laughs> be healed? Tr- yes, you have you are healed and full time. and your spell slots yes. are full. Okay. That's what she did. Other than the uh, lines of Moria. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Every time he just bounced. He was like, yeah, I got <laughs> something to do, man. I'll do it. I also forgot oh, yeah. my regular stylus again, so we get to use this weird one and I hate it. Lots of them there. Sometimes you're a powerful wizard who needs to be gone whenever the plot would, you know. Exactly. You're too, you're too <laughs> the powerful. plot necessitates. Like, oh, jeez. You can't be here right now. That's what I always do in real life. I mean, otherwise you'd need to be nerfed, so. Yeah. So. I decided to give her fire spells. Oh, a moat of fire, not a moat of fire. Mode of fire. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's exactly. something they added in iOS like nine. A moat of fire. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a pretty good synopsis. Of- <laughs> it was an okay synopsis at best. Yeah, you know what? It's better than nothing. And it for is. anyone that may be new coming in, they may know what's going on. Maybe not. You won't. I'm sorry. Plus, normal. Normally, I that's not something I can remember. Yet. Yeah, okay. right, um, and I also don't memorize anything now. Okay. So. Okay. Um, there is one more no, thing I'm that I'm go- that is going to happen real quick. Um, oh, I know what is it? As what? It's gonna be a river of bird blood. No, oh. I'm not gonna draw the splatters of blood on the map. Do you not know how I can show you? No, I know how. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Oh, I know. Just that sounded a lot creepy. Anyways, no. As you go through the portal, um, Lady Amara comes with you. Oh. And she's like, "I want to bestow upon you one more gift." Let me actually turn the map on real quick. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to get a lot of weird things in this shot now. It's a shining puddle. It's a rock. It's a rock. Is it onyx? No. <laughs> Is that a component? It might be. It, it's definitely not. It's also like way bigger than you. No, so I can't throw it. Okay. No. Um, she. T- like, this is a rock that was already on the ground in this area. It's There's lots of, like, just rocks, because, you know, underground stuff. Convenient plot things, I don't know. And I mean, she... I'll back you up on there are rocks underground. <laughs> well, it's a rock that's way Confirmed. bigger than me, and he that's can't throw there boulder. are rocks <laughs> underground. Sure. But that is a she... nice boulder. But she touches it, and it starts to glow a faint blue. As she steps away, she turns to all of you and she says, I would like all of you to touch this rock before you go inside. This battle is going to be quite perilous and this will give you a second chance should you need it. Dope. 
Mako Time travel. runs up and... Dink. Hands on the rock. Right. Um, Runner also goes in opposite, puts his hand on the rock. What about Noah? Um, Noah does too, but he he's looking more and more like he doesn't want to do any of this. What about the dead guys? Do the dead guys? I no. mean, they can if they want to. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I feel like it's not going to help them. <laughs> but um, she she gives all of you a bow. Good luck, adventurers, and she. Thank you. Yes. yes, thank you. Does she take what's his face Very with nice. her? What, the rude one? Yeah. Oh, the rude one didn't come with her. Oh, the idiot. Oh, God. The rude one, uh, sorry, is like not here. Remember well, that. Or was... not sorry. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, brother, brother, brother. Okay. So you're in this room now. You see before you two stone doors underneath like the crack in the door you can see a faint red glow what do you do touch the rock again just in case (laughs) (laughs) i'll look at crusher and go that's that's me take the take the door left yeah yeah okay uh i draw uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to, um... You wanna touch the rock again? <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> I just wanna, like, give y'all a small speech. Real quick. <laughs> okay, okay. We got this. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not super okay, but we can do it. Wait, time out. Uh, Hold on, I think Mia's. She might be cast in a spell. It is a spell. Yeah. It's a spell called motivational speech. Oh. I thought it was inspiration. Is it temporary hit points? Yes. You have five temporary hit points. Five temporary hit points? Yeah, it lasts for like an hour. That's a point. It might not last. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Understandable people that can do magical abilities. One that's practically nigh invulnerable. And I got a gun. Who's nigh invulnerable? You have like nine guns, <laughs> to be fair. No, I don't <laughs> um, what were you going to say, Doctor? Oh, I'm going to uh, walk up to Crusher, touch him, give him uh, Cat's Grace. Ooh. You have advantage on all dex checks, and you don't take damage from falling. Ooh, fancy. So it's like free falling. <laughs> yes. Okay, before we go in there, what, uh, what is our priority? Are we getting the birds out? Are we killing the dude? Or are we destroying the stones by throwing them back into the fire from whence they came? I don't think What's our so. priority? We can only do one. I think I'm going to uh... take the stones. I think the birds. If we got yeah. civilians present, the best person for that job is going to be Maka. She can get all the. To kill seen. the civilians. No. Preferably to free them. Oh. Not from life, but more from imprisonment. <laughs> Not from this mortal coil. You gonna touch coil. the rock again? <laughs> <laughs> You're like putting all your leathers like on the rock. Like, does it do anything I have with it? Can I carry an extra one in this bag? I think it's more like before you go into a giant boss battle in an RPG, you just constantly keep saving. You use all three of the you slots. Just, you just yeah, spam exactly. the save point. So a little fire. Because wait, did I save? Wait, did I save? Kind of like... Yeah. That one says 67. That like, 68. the... I think the rest the, of us... Are... The real life version of like going back three times to make sure you locked the door... Or alternately, the JRPG version of just really spamming that save point because you've forgotten <laughs> if you've already saved. Even okay, though you saved by there's the thing. <laughs> yes. If he starts killing civilians when we walk in, then that's bad. But otherwise, he lured them, controlled them here. If we don't kill him, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, but they're part of the whole process to okay. open up this portal. Getting them out of this place would probably be the best thing. Silly question. Do we know that the rocks will be destroyed if we throw them in the fire from whence they came? That's my other question. Okay, so let's... So I wasn't here for the first, like, four rocks. I mean, we took a day trip told. in a boat, and they were like, oh, we have all five. And I was like, I didn't know we were collecting rocks. <laughs> so I'm a little not up to speed. The notion we have is if we cast them in there, it will destroy them. Okay. Being on the other hand, I think just killing powder might be just the fix that we're looking for. I think so too, but also like kind of like an even split on priority here of free my people and kill the bad guy. I feel like even the splits are going to get us in trouble. I feel like if... I don't know well, where we would split the birds. Well, we I mean... They can fly. Then why haven't they? Oh, wait. Being that's the same thing being said, locked like, in oh, a blah, being it's locked very up, being surprised and being captured. Oh, why can't they leave? And then he was like, "Oh, they're just gonna come back." And it's like, "No, we can't surprise them twice." There's also we something to be said for the blah, fact blah. that the the rude people really implied that my people are being used for some sort of fuel for a bad thing to happen. So if we release them, then the bad guy, B- Baylor, he doesn't have the hospital. <laughs> okay. It's also a here's team. My, Baylor's here's... scary, but Scott and White are even scarier. Uh, <laughs> here's my suggestion. If there is he's not going to have any fuel for whatever bad thing he's making. If there's a way do. that you can release a lock and get them out of here, I will be happy to do that. If it's more obscured than that, then it, they're going to have to wait. If they're like under a spell or if there's nothing we'll evidently them holding them. In. in the meantime, you can get yourself in position to maybe somebody in the back. You... I'm going to cast invisibility on me. Because I think Chris and I are going to be a bit preoccupied, not trying to die. I, I think I think is advantage on stealth check. I think of I don't know. I think, yes, we should probably focus on trying to kill the big bad guy. It's going to be kind of our thing. If there is a lock, the people may be able to help. If there's yeah. not a lock, <laughs> not so much. And well, they may not want to. A couple of some of them flying might. around might be a great distraction, honestly. Some of your people are warriors. Yes. Yeah, I saw, I Lots watched a play one time with a lady that was being attacked by birds a lot, and it, she was very distracted. I once knew a ladder in a cave that had a bunch of bats in it. Yeah? Was it cool? No, it was not. <laughs> Is that why you throw rocks now? Pretty much. Oh, that's fair. Nope. Backstory explained. So... <laughs> <laughs> so if there is a lock, then we try to unlock it, and if there is not a lock, then we try to kill the big bad guy. Doctor, I know how you feel about talking to bad guys. However, I would... Yes, do not let him speak. What's, who's got what stone? I would encourage if you guys can distract for a couple of minutes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, there's not gonna, there's not really any point to me in trying to prioritize anything over the bad guy because I don't think he's gonna give us the option of doing that. But negating, hopefully, his ability to do the big thing that he needs to make a, you know, a genocidal sacrifice for by releasing the sacrifices and also you know keeping in mind there's the very selfish reason that i would prefer that it's really only genocide if he kills you that's that's also like a pretty big deal or die trying (laughs) i go Touch the rock. (laughs) It doesn't work as well when you do it. No, it doesn't. When she does it, I feel much better. When you do it, it seems a little I just picture her over there, like, pecking at the rock. (laughs) Well, like, hey, hey, this will help. So, I have two of the stones. Does it matter which ones we have? Hmm? Is it going to matter which ones we have? I think even getting one in there is going to mess up his plans entirely. 
I have zero. They got taken away from me. <laughs> well, who has the other ones? I have I one. Have you have two? Uh-huh. Okay. okay, you two have two. She has one. Okay. So I suggest we don't throw them all in there at once. It seems like that can backfire horribly Maybe if we're wrong time, about the lore. Yeah, if if we're Maybe wrong about to... him needing these Maybe you try to sneak all. around and throw one in the fire? Maybe I will. Sure, yeah, cool. I can do that. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. Well, we're wasting daylight. Invisible. Chris, would you mind politely knocking on the door? All right. Politely, I mean, knock it off the day. Kick the door open. Sure. All right. <laughs> All right. So here's what happens. You die. No. <laughs> That's Good thing I touched that rock so many times. Beef, beef bag. And then we see really we so, die, and then so, we see that tracer thing. The door opens and or gets obliterated. I prefer that one. Nope, I have paracops. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's so small. That's this fine. Is... That's the size category that you did. No, know? no, no, no. <laughs> he's making oh, pizza. <laughs> Stop. All right. Does. You push the. You push open the doors. And you see, um, you see before you a large stone room. Candles and torches give the room light, but the dancing flames make it feel more alive, like in a very eerie way. There is a raised portion of the floor, and upon it you see a large circle with strange symbols has been painted on it. The runes within glow with dark red energy, and the scent of blood is thick in the air. Across the circle you see a stone archway. The space inside the frame filled with the same dark red energy crackling as it draws power. The last thing of note in the room is in front of the archway, a humanoid figure draped in an elaborate black robe. Their back is to you, but they turn as you enter. What's the robe look like? Why is it elaborate? There's embroidery. There's some like shiny pieces on it. I don't know. Use your imagination. This is an imagination game. It's testing your use. Not, not. We're collecting money wait, for. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. David Bowie. Uh, before anything, uh, everyone should put their minis where they want them to be. Yes. Because I feel like um, you cannot put them past the stairway. Right. As a note. We well, can't put them in the room. I, yeah, right? I'm just. Straight. You can put them in the room. You just cannot put them past the stairway. There is some kind of kind of shuffling. <laughs> well, there's some kind of barrier keeping you. Um, where are you going to go, Doc? Hmm? Where are you going to go? Uh, far right side. No, not all the way right. No, <laughs> like, Doc, not back, all the back, way back, right. Back, 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 Yeah. Oh, well, that's oh, fine. I'm going to the other right. right. You're going this way? I'm going as far that way as I can, because I'm going to be, like, trying to get around the perimeter to see if I can. Just oh, surround me. Yeah, surround me with my boys. Keep Noah in the back. <laughs> me, I'm going to just... Okay. All right. So we, we probably look very bad. By at now, aren't you friends with them? <laughs> it seems you've oh, arrived dear. much sooner than I expected. Yeah, we're pretty prop like that. Huh. Perhaps I should have given you a bit more of a challenge. You know, we can all, you can always just give up. I don't think so. It makes no difference what you do here. You cannot stop the gears that are already in motion. He steps forward, arms spread open as he gestures to the summoning circle before him. Stained red with blood and peppered with feathers. As he raises his head, you see the malicious grin on his face and his white hair peeking out from his hood. But you're more than welcome to try. All right, everyone, roll for initiative. Feathers. Feathers and blood. Oh, this (laughs) one. Oh, runner. You oh, try. BT Dubs. 14. What? You asked what my AC is. Nice. 14. Oh, Get yourself a shield spell, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> That's an mine. actual shield. Oh, uh, six. Get yourself an actual just shield. Oh, oh my god, what? 
Thank you. Um, I thought ooh, it was chill okay. to move around. Because oh, one, you have fantastic decks. And Thank also... you, my workout. <laughs> the workout. The rigid deck spell. <laughs> Doc. Twelve. Maka. Seven. It's going to be a good game, guys. Crusher? I'm just getting 20. it out of the way. Kara. 22. Oh. Capacity. <laughs> 27. Oh. That's it's literally impossible for me um, to even get a 27. Huck? Like, I said it's impossible for me to even oh, get one. Yeah, my highest is 22. Uh, Adding my proficiency bonus to my initiative. Yeah. As gunslingers do. Okay. How far is he away? I don't know. Use your use your math skills. 9, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 30, 20, 40. Never mind. Shit. All right. Pretend that you hear epic battle music. I could not find any good epic battle music. (laughs) All right. Also, the barrier is gone. It was literally there so I could get my bad guy speech out. Yay. That's Cassidy, that's quick draw. <laughs> exactly. That's, a, that's literally why I put that. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Cassidy, you're actually first. All right. Um, Give that clean it, clip, clean to squid. Wait, what What? What do we see in the room? What are, what are these things? Oh, that, that, like, one, like, this is like a pile of trash and stuff. Bird carcasses. Trash I mean, there are bird corpses. carcasses in there. Oh. But it's other stuff, and then there's, like, a desk on the other side. This is a bookshelf. I didn't think how fresh I didn't the think bird carcasses look it was a question oh. that I was going to be saying in this game, but like here we are. I asked that in real life though, so who knows? Does a sixteen hit? Does a sixteen hit? Like yes, it does. Okay, that. all three of them are on two. All right, just go ahead and give me the full total. Oh, I'm not you. Well, I'm letting you know there. I, well, hold on, let me make sure he has no resistances. <laughs> Build a character. Don't know their resistances. Um, I don't know what this does. I don't know what this does, but I'm using my dad's gun because I've never used it in a battle yet. All right, use that one last. Use that one last. Yes. And like roll it if you step in. Yeah, roll the other two first. Well, I'm only using one gun. I'm not. Okay, well then give me the first two hits first. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> give me the things that aren't your dad's gun. Or all, all three of your dad's, dad's gun? Yeah, I'm firing three rounds. Probably. With oh. your dad's gun? Yeah. You did not say that. You said I, you said something else. Anyways. I can only shoot one gun at a time unless I'm dual wielding, and that's your discretion. Dual wielding. <laughs> okay, well, give me the total. Okay. So can I. Or 1d4 plus 2 if I want to. Are you serious? <laughs> I can dual wield. 1d4 plus 2. 1d4 plus 2. What? If I say serious, I'm Why not. so serious? Gotcha. I don't know how to stop it. My phone does the same thing. Re-record. You're good. <laughs> yeah, it's my boy. Oh, wow. It's okay, my um, Alexa turns on whenever he is I going to take YouTube videos. 43 points of damage total just off of my roll. I don't know what else it is. It was how much? Um, I. Down to the 28 plus nice. the plus 5 to each round. Nice. So, 43 points of damage. Sure. All right, you see, all right, your gun glows with a bright light, and you see that it does more damage than that. And instead, we win. No, <laughs> not quite. Good try, though. I tried to slip that one in there. So the gun <laughs> like starts she to glow. Notice. The gun does start to glow. And it does two extra damage per bullet. Nice. Against uh, the bad guy. Two extra Okay, so then it would be uh, 49. If you need some. Points of damage. Okay. And under my breath, I go, you built it good, Mom. Do I hear that? Yeah. Do I hear that? Tear, I'm standing right a single next to tear him. rolls down my, my cheek. <laughs> Do I see that? No, no, no. I'm joking about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cassie, then don't you say cry. Huh? And then you say what? I said you built a good mom. Is he talking about his hand? He's talking about his penis. Focus, Doc! 
<laughs> Focus fire. <laughs> Who was next to attack? I think it was. Wait, no. You don't know who's next. Or it's the D. Yeah, I was gonna or say in the party. Oh. Welcome to legendary action. Sure, I like this song, oh. Rachel. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> All right, you see him stumble. <laughs> Doesn't think much of it. <laughs> he takes a couple <laughs> steps forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Just, just the two. Just the two. And he is looking, he looks at you. Uh -oh. And let me make sure I'm doing this right. Because as everyone knows. Chastity dies. <laughs> I miss you, Chastity. <laughs> Will you tell the story of my death? Lie a little bit and make it really good. <laughs> he, well, you see, embellish. well, you see, he killed a cat once. <laughs> Oh, no. oh no, that is no that, address. What a bastard. Like I hope you understand that that's going to be in your realm forever. That what is? The fact that he killed Noah's cat. Wouldn't you say he killed a wild beast that attacked him? No, cuz all the cat did was scratch at your leg. My computer's acting funny. That's not good. Okay. Okay. Well, hmm. We're gonna wing this, I guess. What? What happened? Is it not the inter is it internet access or speed or something? No, my computer just really wants me to update now, so it's stopping working a lot of things so that I I will. And I hate it. You At least update. you got to read your parts first because you don't write them down that often, but you wrote them down this time, so at least you got to read some of your Yeah, stuff. like I have the plot points down yeah, and everything. Huh? Uh, sorry. Dude. Uh, sorry, sorry, he's posting about that. I'm sorry. Not right now. So Alright, um. Does a 24 hit? <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, it All is. right. 15. And twice for 20 hits. Oh, sure. Oh, doesn't do anything because it's a spell. But does a 25 hit? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and it's your own natural 20. <laughs> those look like spells. Oh. Those look like spells. Not this one, oh, as far okay. as I know. I'm not gonna. I oh, but you gotta that. give it to her yeah. in a second. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, and I also rolled the other thing, and he also hits runner. And I get wreck. Sorry. To runner? Yeah. Who chose to come with us? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know. Too mean. Didn't think about getting up these. There we go. All right, Cassidy. You t or actually, I'm gonna roll all hey, of. Are we still rolling? I am. Okay. Yeah, we're still broadcasted too. Uh, I think I got it when I jacked up first. Okay. Okay, so Cassidy got lucky. Pressure was okay. Runner was not lucky. <laughs> Cassidy, you take six points of damage as um, black bolts come from his hand. Crusher, you take 10 points of, of damage as bolts fly from his hand. And <laughs> Aren't you glad you had him? And Runner takes 13. Whoa! He was not lucky on that one. He had temporary hit points. Too. <laughs> He's also a spellcaster. They have, like, no armor. 13. Anyways, and that is his turn. Oh, that's my AC. That's oh, <laughs> yeah. Is <laughs> that all that's you have? Considering it's only me attacking you? Is yeah, that's, that's all you have? That's not all we got. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Wait, who's next? Kara. K Kara, is that all we have? <laughs> <laughs> Crusher. 
kill this person. You have inspiration. Oh. It's a d10. And... I'm gonna take a second to do some perceiving in the room. To see if I see any sign besides blood and feathers of where my people might be. That's gonna be a 23 perception, if that's what I'm looking for. All right. Um, you don't see like any- Am key. I using perception actually? I don't know, no, investigation would be like more involved in that part. Yeah, investigation would be if you had more time. Yeah. Perception, um, I mean, you see like the corpses of the ones that he's already used in like this corner mm -hmm. over here. Um, you see various feathers and splatters around the room in various places. You don't see any cages though. So if you were to ballpark the number of corpses, like, like oh god, uh, two, but seriously, three, like four or like thirty. We're gonna roll a dice and see what happens. No, we're not gonna do that. That's not enough. There's at least six that you can see. Ooh. So much for low ball in that estimate. Well, at least uh, she didn't roll her d fifty. Yes, because I totally have could one. Still roll the percentage one. of dice to the percentage <laughs> to be honest, of like, people. The D50s and D100s scare me. <laughs> they're huge. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna make like an echo as soon as she. <laughs> uh. And do I notice anything else relevant to that? Not necessarily. Not oh, I say not necessarily, but not really. Okay. You do, like, most of the blood and feathers that you see are concentrated, like, on the circle. Okay. I get the feeling that being, like, a big badass demon, my highest capacity to cast Dispel Magic is probably not going to do a whole lot to get rid of that circle. No. So, sorry. I mean, you can try. <laughs> Go ahead. So, what I'm going to do instead is we'll fly up toward him, like right up on him, and mm -hmm. cast Thunder Wave. Like, right, scoot back one. Okay. And it's 25, so you can move. More Double that, three. technically. Ah, oh, another sacrifice for our Dark Lord. Ooh. Get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> now I feel like you should run on this. Oh, damn. I oh, am so flying. She's, hold on, here. Here, put yourself on, on a D6. Yeah, put me on there. Oh, I even picked the red one. How appropriate. You just grabbed one. Yeah, like the blood of the people that's filled. She's flying. She goes over the circle and it's like a bug's back or like. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> like uh, Chris what, um, just lips. for reference sake, what does Thunder Wave do? Um, it damages him and it pushes him back. Does he have a save? Mm. I'm looking. Oh, okay. I think it's dex, but maybe it's a con save. It's a con save. I thought it was charisma. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> DC 17 con save. You rolled a three. Okay, so failed that. So if you made it, we're all in huge trouble. No, I'm sorry. His to no, his total was a oh. three. I I think. I see. Twenty plus twenty. Okay, twenty six, and he's pushed back ten feet. Right. Twenty six points of damage, uh, and then I fly away from the big magic circle. I have. 
I have another 25 feet of movement, so just get me off of it. Want the full, the full <laughs> movement. Okay. Yeah. That's she, she meant the full circle, not the, just yeah. the magic yeah. circle. I, I All right. Oh, Next in the order is Crusher. Yo! Remember, I'm gonna have run straight forward. He doesn't have blood, it's fine. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, I have 40 feet. Yeah, sorry, I have 40. Am I able to? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can. There was something about a barrier. Oh, earlier. I put the barrier there literally in case y'all tried to attack him before I could do my villain speech. It was the anti-casting <laughs> sheet. That, that is there was peak. plot armor. <laughs> that that's I amazing. Heard. That is peak villainy. Y'all have ruined all of my villain speeches oh. because y'all attacked first, and I didn't want you to, you know, ruin the like non-existent one. <laughs> All right, so inspiration, I can roll the die and then determine if I'm going to do inspiration, but it has to be before I know if I can yeah, not, you correct? can. Yeah, you can roll first and then decide, but you cannot know whether or not it works before you decide. Okay, yeah. all right. Are you going to shoot me, KO? Or do you do it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rage. I would like to rage. If it's possible, Crusher would like to rage. You have to wear the head. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I, I, I can. Mean, you, 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 you should. You said it. I did. I did say I was going to. It's a rage band. It was band. before. I, I said I can't before oh it, it's a rage band. She's, she looks like every 80s hair band. All right. Everybody is working right, like, for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all yes. a hint. He's not hard to hit. Five. Oh, I just <laughs> see <laughs> what my rage does now. Plus three. Okay. Um, uh, eighteen points of damage. Okay. And then my second one is I'm gonna use my hint version. <laughs> uh, same thing. Eighteen. All right. So hit. How would you hit? How do I hit? Yes, I will. I would like. Uh, the first time, I'm just gonna go for a swipe down the front of its chest. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna see how that goes. What is your second one? Does do? it look normal? Yeah. Follow okay. up. Follow up. Then, uh, so my first one swipe across the chest, and then my second, I'm gonna kind of come back and swing straight across. Yeah. Okay. So we're All making right. a seat belt. And the second one <laughs> is not as much. It's a um. 11 points of damage. Okay. So here is what happens. I you pushed him off his magic sword. Again. Yes, you did. Very good. Congratulations. But also, I did that could on have purpose. been very relevant. <laughs> All right. Here's what happens you guys see Crusher just hack and slash this dude. Blood is pouring out of him. Feels nice. Feels nice. For y'all. Good. <laughs> There's no butt there. It just feels nice. Oh, good. It feels nice. The maker stumbles forward into the circle. So move him into the circle, please. He looks at the blood pouring out of his body and just merely laughs. It echoes through the chamber as he stumbles to the ground and gives one final taunt. You thought you could stop our Lord Balor. <laughs> Is it like a basilisk fang or something? And he smears his blood across the runes before him. You're too late. A bright flash fills the room. And when it passes, you see what's left of the maker. A body drained of blood and fluids. All his saliva is gone. Yeah, all of it. He just looks like a husk. And stuff. <laughs> no, he looks like a husk, essentially. Like, I watched the mummy. Wow. Well, so. Yeah, like like that. You know, new friends. Sort of how I like them. <laughs> you, yeah, no bodily You fluid. and you feel a warm a warmth in your pockets from where you you have the stones. 
and then you see them fly out of your pockets in holding bags. Wow, rude. The colors, like they encircle each other and you see the, the different colors and they shoot into the portal. So it turns Shit. out the fire from whence they came is not going to destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> we just brought these damn things here. The next thing you hear is the crackling of the portal as red lightning starts flying out of it. The stone around it looks like it's starting to crack. And from the portal, you see it. You see him. A lot, I'm sorry. What was his size category again? I just need We're not only huge, 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 small, I think. Huge, small. catastrophic, <laughs> tiny, tiny. tiny. A, tiny. <laughs> a huge fiend walks out of the portal. Large horns are atop his head. The, the red and orange of his skin glistens against the light portrayed from the portal. Large leathery wings extend as he emerges. He looks at your group. He pulls forth his long sword, which he can hold in one hand. And in his other appears a flaming whip. With a large battle cry, phase two has begun. And now please don't make fun of the mini I chose for this. I'm so excited. If it doesn't look like the Balrog, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Okay, so I was gonna borrow Little Bitch from our game, but I forgot to ask Sunny. Damn. So I couldn't, because that's I think that's actually supposed to be a Balor mini. That's Spider Man. A Funko Pop. Nice. What Funko? That's dope. I like it. That's amazing. Because it's the only thing that was correct of in size category. That I got in here. It's huge. Is fifteen by fifteen. So okay, yeah, that's that's pretty damn big. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So to put him to perspective, it goes small, medium, large, huge, gargantuan. We're meeting. Gargantuan's like a dragon. Yeah. Right. Okay. Gargantuan is the dragon that y'all met before. Okay. I think you, yeah, it's at least 15 feet by 15 because I think that. Uh, 10 by 10 is large. Oblex was yeah. huge. I brazel the yell. Uh, I've seen bigger. And then the box Does he just breathe weird? That's and all he does. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Do, 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 you know, do, 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 everyone do, 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 wants do, 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 to leave a legacy, but this is really the maker's Ooh. mark. <laughs> Got him! Oh, oh, I that forgot all of the things that this thing I'm does. Invisible. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm excited. All right. Um, actions will resume now. <laughs> now that I've had a moment. And it is the doctor's turn. Go on, go get him, please. Tell me go. Wait, there, there is a ledge there. Oh, there's a ledge there. You have to go up the stairs. Climbs. You have to go up the stairs. Okay. Five, I should have mentioned that. I'm sorry. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. With his full movement and dash action, he almost gets there. <laughs> And they will walk up onto the circle. Damn, yeah, he's still too close. He's still too uh, close. Shit. Uh, does a snippety sniper? Uh, six hit. Yeah, it's gotta be one at least. That's all right. <laughs> no, no. no. Just... You need to make one monster that a six hit. Does a make... nineteen hit? Barely. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Tell me, skin <laughs> I don't like this at Tell all. Tell me, does three damage with his shotgun. <laughs> Is he still alive? Is he still alive? Yeah. Absolutely. Is he looking hurt? Um, He's looking rough? No! Oh, okay. It looks like the arrow just like nicked him a little. Well then, uh, like when you get that paper cut and it just. Or yeah. you get that point. Does he go? And you can see that there's red <laughs> in there, but there's but no But I won't go down. creep up right to the ledge. <laughs> and he's going to cast his new spell, number. Harm. He okay. has to make a constitution save of 16. What's the name of the spell? Just. Oh, it's pretty harm. straightforward. Okay. Oh, what, hey, does what does he have to roll? Uh, he has to roll a 16 or higher. And But even if he does, he takes half damage. He rolled an 18. Okay, so half damage. Can I borrow some of your d6s? Mm -hmm. It's uh... Okay. 
That's 14d6. So he'll take half this damage. 14d6? 14d6. Nice. 10. Oh, I'll put the Yeah, it was. 10, 10, 10. So uh, 51 cut in half is 25. Nice. 14. And uh, it's not probably not important, but also his maximum hit points are reduced by that much. So if he tries to heal himself, he can't heal himself back those 25. Okay, so his new max hit points is essentially what he's at now. Exactly. Well, Plus, don't well, forget about don't Toby's forget about the damage. damage that no, Toby did. Yeah. I will, yeah. I will Let's, give him Toby's. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. You rolled 51. I'll give him that handicap. Yeah. The max would be 84. That's a really good roll. I will give you a high five. Why is, do my d6s not roll like that for me? <laughs> yeah, they, oh, well. They don't like you. I guess. <laughs> All right, so it's Noah's turn. <laughs> Noah's going to leave the room now. <laughs> like, okay, is, it was fun, buddy. This is not a joke. He he has left the room and he is in, he is in this room now around the corner. He touches the rock. That's good. Like, if it, he like, messed up, I was probably going to shoot him. Like, oh, yeah. Like, he is, like, in here. Just, like, he no, no doubt. He can't go anywhere else but in here. But he... he it's funny. Oh, in yeah. his defense, if he messed up one time, I probably would have shot him. No, it's just funny because my head, <laughs> the way Maka is, she was apprehensive before. When he shows up, she's like, let's fucking kill him. Oh, I forgot with the rest of my movement that I can move back to the same space. Okay. Have you met Noah? <laughs> Noah? <laughs> I mean, sure, but like. He's the biggest coward, and we have a guy in our party named Runner. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Noah was already a little nervous about fighting. Or Owen, right? No, no, no. I called him Owen. That was never his name. No. No. Jimmy Dean? No. no. Okay. Did Noah write it down? Jim Bean. No, no. I did write it down. I wrote it down, but I don't have my, I don't have my tablet. So. Let me see. I like watching y'all suffer. Couch. No. We were deciding to keep calling him Runner anyway, so I don't know why. I'm I thought you have written it down, bro. I called him <laughs> Oh, I didn't write it down. Oh, okay. I don't write anything. Down. Literally, none of us wrote it down. <laughs> cool. I don't remember ever hearing like, okay. it. I didn't listen to the last game. I so. wrote it down. It's not in this notebook. I don't think. You too. All anyway, right. moving on. Moving on. Now that now that Noah has like hey, you. like noped the fuck out. <laughs> I don't blame him. So do you want to like throw a fireball on his way out? Just die. I mean, really, do you, we're not gonna. Do you want him to try? Him. You know what? You know what? No, he's no, no, do what, no, do, no. Do you want him to try? No. With his fifty no, percent chance fail of failure. No, but he might want to try with in that room just to turn himself into a potted plant. <laughs> so at least he could be, you know. Maybe if he tries to what turn himself. <laughs> <laughs> Prop hunt is where you turn yourself into object, into an object, and everyone else has to find you. That would be too easy because I'm not very good at it. Maybe if he tries to turn himself into a potted plant, I mean, he'll he's cast occasionally really good at it. Go well, that's worth an attack or something. Hold <laughs> on, I have to check something. Would anyone like some fruity snacks? Okay, I actually like some cheeses. All right, it is runner's turn now. Thank you. Ooh. Runner is going to get up onto the platform. Yeah, right there's good. And he is going to cast Fireball on Thank Fowler. You. Unfortunately, it does nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Isn't he like made of fire? Yeah. Thought I would try it. That was a bad idea on my part. He cast fireball. Oh, not fireball. Um, fire bolt. Bolt. That one. Oh, okay, I was like, you <laughs> know that really cool cantrip I just did. Mm. Yeah. That one. Yeah, and uh, that does three d ten at my level. Yeah. Mm. Cantrip. Unless it's not. I yell at Get back over here. Why? What did I say? <laughs> he he's not moving. Hmm? He's not moving. Get over here! So use your movement to come back over here. He's not. Why is he not? Because he's stupid. 
because he was just a little boy and now he's part of the team and he's doing his first big battle and he feels like a big close. boy and he's not going <laughs> to listen to his mama anymore because he's outgrown her. That's a, That's a really detailed backstory. Yeah. It's not it's what has happened since he's, been mean, with her, since he's been with her group. And I wasn't even there when we met him. Who's his mother? At this point, Captain Cassidy's the one uh-huh. who's like, get back behind my skirts. I'll no, I you. want him to come over here so I can give him something. He, I mean, he's a character capable of making his own decisions. You can't ask Cora it, why okay. he's not moving. I can't do it. I'm telling him to get over here. He's not doing it. So. No. He is both terrified and filled with the need for action, and he's not moving. He wants to Maka, it's your turn. Okay. Um... Since we did have some downtime, I haven't gone just talking and stuff. Um, without moving from there, could I have looked around and seen that there's no blatantly obvious cage? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty obvious there's no cages in here. Okay. Then I am going to uh, get closer to him by like 30 feet. <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I think he, what is his reach? I actually didn't look at that. 15 feet. I I mean, that makes sense. As big as his base is, that's how long his reach is. Gotcha. Cool. Also, he has a hit. (laughs) But can he name it? (laughs) You guys are nerds. What? Um, (laughs) But can he name it? (laughs) Then I'm just going to throw two daggers at him. So the fire dagger. I mean, I'm going to, but the whip is the easiest. Just in case, but I don't think it's going to matter. Give me the, with the fire dagger, give me the damage separate. The naming potion does require some finesse to not look stupid. As a as a point, did you see Mm, that Junjito learned the whip? I don't think I did not. Why would I have realized? Because I I retweeted that. Um, they, um, he was doing an interview in the Winchester Mystery House, and the the guy taught him how to do the whip and the name. It's all about wow. him now. No, that was a six, not a nine. Junji Ito brought the whip back. Mm-hmm. That was a six, not a nine. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. I think so. I didn't look at it carefully. You know actually, what? I'm gonna actually. You know what? I'm not sorry. I'm gonna use one luck to re-roll one of them. All right, because they both missed. Well, either this stupid desk. No, I don't think. 18. Barely misses. It's going to be another game like last time. Okay, then I'm going to uh, recall them. This is a demon. The Yeah, I'm going to recall them. And that's it. That's my turn. Sorry, I was reading something of his, and I'm... I no, it doesn't matter. I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> I was just throwing warm-ups at the giant dude. I should be able to hit, you would think. Well, it's not that they didn't, like, they whiffed him or anything. They hit, but they didn't do anything. It's the broad side of a barn size. All right, we're back to the top of the round. So, Cassidy, it is your turn. Oh, boy. <clears throat> there is a demon in front of you. And as a note, I'm going to pull up a picture of Balor and send it to y'all so you can actually see him because I, I could not describe this. this oh, I don't care. Anyway. Oh, come on, baby. Well... Um, does a 14 hit? No. Okay, how about a uh, 24 then? 
24 does hit. Okay. With that, I'm going to also expend one grit point. Hang on, let me roll my damage first. Nine plus three. Fourteen points of damage, and I am going to cast aspersion on its character. That too. Winging shot. Make a saving throw and beat a seventeen, or be knocked prone. All right. What's this actual saving throw? Like wisdom, charisma, dot dex. Uh, it must make a strength saving throw. Sorry. And what does he have to roll? 17. Beat a 17. He beat. Yeah. Why is he so angry? <laughs> I try. <laughs> he still takes some damage. No, he does still take damage. And, uh, oh, um, um, action surge and rapid reload. Okay. So... There you go. <laughs> All right. Next is Balor. I didn't re-roll his initiative. He was going to give me... Oh, hello, doggy. Hi. Oh. Is this our emotional support animal for yes. this session? Yes. Oh, and here she comes. Sorry hey, everyone. That. Hey, go outside. Hi. 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 Hey, go, 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 go. Sorry about that. No, outside, outside. Go, go. Layla. I'm not kidding you. You're going to get hair all over me. Go. Layla. Sorry. Go. She's adorable. Apologize for any hair over here. Okay. Oh, um, we can remove. With the tension severely undercut by the presence of a dog. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, it was a dog. Yeah. Okay, so. What Bal just happened? It's oh, I, th this is the bad guy Minnie I was removing yeah. in. Oh, I think I, think I, I was sort of the skeleton. Like, so. <laughs> He's probably oh, like, spoiler alert, that will happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Balor uses his long sword on a pressure. Does a 23 hit? Yes, it does. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs> I, I like yeah. the, you know it hit. You don't got them. Oh, I'm sorry. He's going to take a step forward first. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm glad I said this. All right, um, you take 15 points of slashing damage oh, okay. and uh, 15 points of lightning damage. All right. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrifying. Um, he will also attack again. Okay. With his whip this time, yeah, he's, I guess just gonna attack you because I really, yeah. Or does it attack Toby? No, it just attacks him. I don't think he. Well, he can see Toby, but I don't know if he considers Toby a threat. <laughs> no, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, Toby has very threatening days. Does an eighteen hit? Does it does. Okay, Ooh. that was actually a genuine question. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's the wrong type of My ice. My ice is pretty high. It's not that high. My ice is pretty high. No, it's not. <laughs> we all know that. Yeah, it is. Too All right. You take eight points of slashing damage. And... Ten points of fire damage. Wow. Slashing is what you're Um, can you also... 
Make me a strength save. Yes, I can. Uh, I am raging, so I get advantage. Uh, strength saving throw? Yes. Uh, that is a 16. Okay. What happens is the whip wraps around you, and you are pulled right up against him. Okay. Hug this. Am I grappled or strained or anything like that or am i just against him um you're pulled to him let me let me check one more thing real quick okay all right you're good and that is balor's turn okay i shimmy against him a little bit (laughs) are you trying to seduce (laughs) no not like in a sexy way like in a Uh, or does it work (laughs) (laughs) you know what let's roll let's see if you're shimmying (laughs) No. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Not seductive enough. All right, next in the order... It's the clunking. I should put the hat back on. <laughs> next in the order is you, Kara. <laughs> you look concerned. Fire, hurt him. I figured that since he looks like he came from fire. I had a notion about that. Fire hits. Oh, it's almost like iron. Oh, okay. Is he a demon? Do we know that he's a demon? Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it's kind of obvious. I'm not an expert on these things, but uh, oh. yeah. I mean, he's got he's got the wings, the horns, the whole the fang, fire the motif, if you would. So late in the season. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Feel like my rage break. Sure. Everybody's working for me. You don't look madder. Steady step, 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 step. Negated. <laughs> Wasn't the positioning that was preventing it. I am going to Cry? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you know? Because <laughs> I would hate to do this too. Fair point. Is that a threat? It's a prophet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know what? I do know what I'm gonna do. Don't worry, guys. And it was at that moment. Did you just inspire yourself, or was that just for funsies? That was for funsies. When indeed everyone should have worried. What I should have said was nothing. <laughs> what I did say. <laughs> I'm going to cast invisibility on myself for a hot second. Okay. Does that mean we can see each other? No. no. We should be. Y'all just can't. Actually, no. you're no longer invisible because you attacked. You'd have to have greater invisibility in order to make that not happen. Mm-hmm. True. No, you have to attack. Oh, you had to cast a spell. Okay. And also, it does say that if someone has less than 20 feet of passive control, they are not bad. I mean, 
<laughs> really, I should have lost it when the stones flew out from my pockets. <laughs> Just for flavor, what you see, by the way, Mia, is Noah the with his like facing the corner, him. like he is now. Yeah, Just like, like it came from somewhere. Oh, so I see Noah like cowering in, in the corner. Okay, like, I'm gonna take the opportunity head. to call him a pussy. <laughs> And, uh, Seems appropriate. <laughs> that's all I can do for right now. <laughs> you give him a mild heart attack because <laughs> he can't see you. Good. He's just like no, just like that. He knocked himself prone. It's more for flavor, but just, I just yeah. No, I'm also impressed that the idiot. mini just. I mean, also impressed that the mini just stays like that. Yeah. So it's just gonna stay like that now. Okay. Um, next in the order is you, Crusher. Hey! And you're right next to him. I'll I it. am. How, How convenient. Yeah. Hooray for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and attack him with my great axe. Oh, you're using your great axe. Uh, actually, I'm going to use the, the axe of perpetual being a badass. What is it? I don't remember. That was a while ago. That is, that is your what is it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I I get I get advantage on it, but after combat, I will take a point of exhaustion. The X bear is X. That's not it. <laughs> Dark shadows. No, I don't know. But I'm using that axe, and I'll okay. get advantage on. Uh, I think every attack, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Dope. All right, first one is a 25. Ooh. That'll hit. That is uh, 11 points of damage. Second one is a 19. That will hit. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Uh, she was so surprised uh, at that. <laughs> no, because I, I rolled a 19, okay. but I have to roll a 19 to do a critical but that's not what happened anyways uh 12 points of damage all right third one is my bonus action not as good uh that is a 16 that does not hit all right um that is my turn all right you you put a good dent in I did, him i did a thing his leg is bleeding now <laughs> all right guys i did an attack i'm proud of you All right. Next in the order is the good old doctor. Uh, get him, Wally. Oh, it was Wally. I am sorry. Wally. I, th- I, uh, I don't know. If you I knew that wasn't Toby, and yet you knew that wasn't Toby. I know. Just all zombies look alike to him. Mm-hmm. That's rude. Uh, Clearly, does a. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's a 21 hit him. Yes. <gasps> Wowie, this is his first time hitting anyone <laughs> since his creation. Bless. Four damage. Wow, that was actually good. Uh, Toby and Hogo are going to shoot him with their bows. Does a uh, uh, um, uh, eight hit? No. That's Hogo. Toby Sorry, Hogo. does a uh, nine hit. You know, surprisingly, no. Mm, okay. Mm, bummer. Uh, Did anybody write that down? Nine is not in the I'm I'm making a note. (laughs) I have uh, pack tactics because he's next to somebody, so I can build it. You're going to cast guiding bolt on him. Ooh. Is there a save for that? Nope. It's a a, uh, uh, range spell. Okay. Uh, uh, Does a 26 hit? Yes. So, can I borrow some D6 again? Yeah. How many do you need? I'm not using D6. I it. also have quite a few D6 in here. I mean, there is a pile right here. I have an absolutely atrocious Plus number of D6. Mine are rolling better than they do for me. Yeah. Yeah. Between all of us. <laughs> That's uh, 33 damage to him. And the next attack on him has advantage. Ooh. And that's what is... Radiant damage, by yeah. the way. So it's definitely... Radiant. He does not like it. Yes, he does not enjoy it. Does the radiant mm-hmm. seem to do yes, any more? Uh, let me check. Well, yeah, nice job, Doc. We might, might try to kill you now. More, but I don't know. What? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, it does not say if it does. Okay. He, he's not resistant to it, so 
he get you see him take the full and full effect. then I'm on a ski panel <laughs> <laughs> hey in the popular room of cowards and the, cow- the, 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 the coward the room of cowards but you know what? at least yeah. you did something before you went into I the coward sure room of cowards I, is Marco still invisible no oh, about no. your attack I have Marco, this was not going to reply to our quips. You actually jazz. don't know I'm in there. Kind of no, <laughs> you just see Noah yeah. like looking around. You should he also the take the opportunity to call him. Uh, that that wouldn't be something the doctor would do. Down. Although I understand that that's your thing, keeping people out there down. I don't, uh, I don't All fall right. For it. Um. Next in the order would be Noah, actually. No, takes the, the opportunity to pee himself. <laughs> Noah's going to, like, Noah's going to, from the door, like, stand in front of the doorway. Jason, can you move him to, like, right there? Mm-hmm. Right there. He's like, all right, let's see if I can do something right this time. Mark is over there, like, can't you cast spells through your familiar? You didn't even have to be in here. I'm not bringing oh, Salem you into this. You can be summon him. Salem didn't come with you guys. <laughs> Salem made it a point to not go near the thing. Yeah, it's like, fair. no. And he thought Noah would stay and then watched him disappear and just did the cat version of a face palm. You mean any cat's face? Yes. But that what that does mean is we get to use the fancy die. Oh, I just looked at what Dowler looks like. Yeah. Yeah, he looks mean. I don't care for him. Yeah. Not a fan. Oh, Gary. He does have a whole look together. He does. Props. He does have a better coordinated want, look than I have. Who wants to use the black light? Doctor, you rose your hand first. He always gets it. Because he can I'm see always... when you're reaching for it. No, because it's Noah. She said he was going. And I held my hand up, and I went to this, and I got ready. I'm back. I'm paying attention. That's what I'm doing. That's a four. Forty. Oh, that was forty. Oh, no, it's no that's a four. <laughs> it's a zero. So zero, if you fail, Mia, you get to use the nothing. light to see what we get on the wild magic table. There's like Ouch. four. There's like four good ones. It could be one of the good ones. It could be one of the good ones. I hope it enlarges capacity. Could you stop knocking me over, please? She did it that time. I, had, I didn't even do anything. This is you why he ghosts. You're not ready. What is 98. It? 98. Holy crap. That sounds like a good thing. Yeah, in large. Let's hope that's a good just thing. Just fire a huge bullet bill. <laughs> <laughs> or it's large, you and like are struggling to hold the gun. All right, oh, no. so this is what happens. And the only people that can that notice this happen are Cassidy, you, and you. Okay. <laughs> you see him like prepare a spell like you don't see him prepare the spell but you hear the like of it not working and then you just hear faint ethereal music playing so the thing says you are surrounded by faint ethereal music for for the next minute <laughs> So, oh, so at least yeah. we'll have a nice time. So, like, really crap BG. Okay, I, I yeah. stopped dead in battle so. and just looked back at him like. Hopefully that's his calm emotions we can use. He's gonna, he is then going to take a five-foot step away from the door. <laughs> back around you the corner. You are completely worthless! <laughs> at least I made an attempt! I'm going to laugh at him. He can't see me, but he can hear me, and that's what matters. He's going to drive him insane, you know that? <laughs> Oh, shut up, disembodied Maybe voice. One flew over the cuckoo's nest by the end of this battle. I'm just saying, you have a cat that you can get back for like 10 He's... gold at any point, and you wouldn't send him in to cast your spells for you. He's not with me. Whose fault is that? Not mine, it's all his. Well, <laughs> hey, that's the problem with you sorcerers. Never your fault. All right, next up is Runner. And I'm looking at the specifics of this because I don't want to, like, do bad to y'all. I mean, neither does he, but... Uh, He's at least, like, knowledgeable of y'all. Okay, so he's not going to cast that. That would be bad for y'all. The 
that he is. I think he's down here. Da 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 da. <laughs> All right, he is going to cast Shatter. He's going to focus it here so that Crusher is not in the ba in the way. That's always nice. Because <laughs> it is a ten foot radius. He's out of that. Is it a ten foot radius? Yes, it is. A sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts from a point of your choice within range. Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered at the point must make a constitution saving throw. I did not want to include pressure in that attack. Sucks, way. He did not make it. He rolled a one. <laughs> Runner and I have very similar ideas. Yep. And um, he takes some lightning damage. He is, despite having a weapon of lightning, he is not immune to it. Fun story. If only he was further away. We'll have lightning him to death right now. <laughs> I don't even think I can get 120 feet out of this room. No. All right. Wait, 120 feet? That's the, uh, yeah, that's the minimum range of crime. Oh, okay. Not a CQB weapon. The farthest you can get away from the 75. Alright, yeah. you, you see it do actually quite a bit of damage. Hey! You did about 19 <coughs> damage. And he also looks very pleased. It's like, I did it! You helped! He feels... It feels good to be helpful, essentially. But Maka, it is your turn. I'm gonna run up to him, or kind of like, I'm gonna try and get flanking him, which I should be able to do. You should be able to flank him while we can. Yeah, yeah. 25 range. So, right there. So okay. that I have advantage, and pressure has advantage, because we're Blanking. You have advantage anyway. I have all of the advantage. Do I get double? No. That's not how that works. No, it's not how it works. Okay. But I'll get the advantage on both. Both of That's the attacks. True. Okay. First attack is a uh, natural 20. Hey! Nice! That will definitely hit. Yeah. And, uh,. No, I know. Oh. And a 30, 20. Well, no, that was the advantage roll. roll. That was my first oh. advantage roll. That's <laughs> third above the. Now they're going to be like three and two. Literally what was three it? and two. Uh, but that's okay because I don't. Oh, it's these two? Because I'd only get <laughs> sneak attack on one anyway, so it's not as big. And you got a sneak attack on the natural 20? Yeah. Dope! Uh, because it was the first one. Dope! So that is going to be. They call these doubles and ringlets. Not in a good way. Uh, six. Okay. He did for a little bit. Plus. He did. Very briefly. What a weird uh, episode. Yeah, when that was like, fun. Oh, and y'all I gotta know, how much did y'all have fun fighting as a class you've ne or as races y'all have never played? <laughs> I just, I just like Crusher being weird out of suddenly being here. The Harvey. I had a ton of fun. I am playing a drow in my other oh, campaign, so it was kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. See? What is this liquid in my mouth? Um, that's. Um, this is too many juices. 24, 48. No, it's 24. No, I know. But like. Yeah. You don't double all of Okay, and 20. You don't double the sneak it's, attack dice. Um, no, you do double the sneak attack dice. 
Oh, do you? It you is, don't. Yeah, it, you don't double the bonus modifiers, but the dice you roll, you double. Oh. Um, so that's fifty. Mm, Fifty-four points of damage. Get up! And it wasn't the, oh no, it wasn't a fire dagger. It was a short sword. And the second attack misses. Oh, well, okay. it should ask. Yes, you're right. Does a thirteen <laughs> hit? <laughs> no, that's not. That's a thirteen, mm. not a three. No. Still no? no. Okay. So we know his AC before we just knew it was above nine. Yeah. <laughs> now we know it's above thirteen. All right. We're, we are back to the top of the round, but below like twenty four or whatever. Hey, so it is your it turn. Sounds like it is though. Full metal roll. Even on my garbage roll. Uh, let's see. And 18 hits, right? No. 18 doesn't hit? No. Okay, then two of my shots. So, um, 21 and 22 hit. Yes. Okay, then. You can give me their damage total, as long as you're not using fire. Oh. Or throwing your dice across the room. Mm. All right. <laughs> Thirty points of damage. I'm also going to use a grip point, and oh. I'm going to cast. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was the total? Thirty points of damage. Thirty points. Okay. Right, what was your grip point again? Uh, one grip point, and I'm going to cast Disarming Shot. Okay. Be it a strength saving throw of 17 or drop one held object of your choice and have that object pushed away 10 feet. He rolled an 18. This mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, his, his total was 18. Weren't those both strength? Yeah. That's why I haven't been I mean, you just have to keep sooner or later. He's got to fail a roll. That's true. That's true. He has really tight. That's. I mean, that's my experience. I should have done another Bad shot, but I'm going to try just, you, I'm going to try again. So no, I'm, I'm just saying you points. have to keep trying. Like sooner yeah, or really. later. All right. In theory, statistically, it is the big bat's turn. Valor. Let me. I'm checking something real quick beforehand, because it doesn't show. Are you checking if he's still mad at us? Um, he is. No. That's so weird, though. That he's still mad at us? That's so crazy. Well, what did we do to him? Uh, hit him in the face like ten times. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hard. And in the butt. But he's just gonna bring a potion. Really hard, though. Really hard in the butt. Nobody likes that. Okay. Not nobody. Oh, really hard. Hey, there show oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Like Somebody hit. said we should have a million views. Oh, I'm about to do a lot. Who is this? Who is it? Alum. It's from the Final Fantasy group. I'm calling it. I, I have no idea. It was good. I see uh, I found your SMS Live channel. Yeah. Rum Tum Tugger? No, it's. I don't Call think, them out. I think it's. I think what it's, is their name? Uh, Lum Babies. Suji Care 64 Back. No idea who that is. Okay. <laughs> thank you, though. But thank you for the kind words. Uh, okay. Ooh, cool. Okay. He's going to take another five foot step forward. Just because he can. Oh, well. And he is going to use. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> his whip again, this time on runner, because I didn't see that it had a. See what its reach was? It is quite a reach. 
Um, let's see if he... Yeah, he hit. <laughs> uh, da, da. Runner will take an... Will now take... Oh, hold on. Yes. He, will, he takes 23 total points of damage. That's lightning and regular damage. And he is pulled right up into Balor. Um, also, Crusher, I need you to make me a saving throw. Um, well, we wait. Do. Does it not have a... Does not have a save? Never mind. So you're saved, right? <laughs> um... Yes, because of where he was before, it would count. Um, the two of you take 10 points of fire damage for being within 5 feet of him when his turn comes around. How much? 10? Yep. Okay. Within 5 feet of him when his turn ends? Is that what you said? Um, when his turn began, he was back here, which was in 5... With Actually, no. Yeah. Crusher, you're good. You don't take that. You weren't there. But he does. But Maka does, too. But it's half because it's fire damage. No, you're not within... You are it's within, 15 feet. Why? Within, no. Yes, it's within 5 feet of no, his... No, I know, perfect. but wasn't he right here? No, he was only 5 oh, feet. Oh, okay. You're, you're fine. The okay. only one that takes it is the zombie. This time. So like, hit it in the over. butt. Like really hard. That's good. Good. Critted its butt. That's good work. All right. Next person in the order is going to be Kara. Okay. A uh, magical brainwave. Tells me that uh, if he's invulnerable to fire, cold's probably a good bet. Which is literally what I came back here to do. <laughs> Figure out what I was going to do with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna. Got one of those. What a brainwave? Cold gun. Yeah, but she did, did you say that out loud? I mean, well, clearly fire didn't work. Yeah, I mean, it, it's I mean, literally just trial and error to figure it out. This is more of a, I see that he's a fire thing, so I'm going to try something later on. How far am I from him right now? About 10 feet. Closer than you should be. Okay. That means I'm within range. And I am in flight, so all the ones on the ground do not have to worry about it. He's gonna blast his face. Oh. That's the plan. She's about to blow him little kids. <laughs> face. <laughs> Thunder wave. <laughs> you don't know she's using Thunder wave. I'm just. I'm just she could be using Dragon's Breath. Or are we thinking a metaphorical thunder wave? Like, here comes the thunder wave. Are you waving at someone? Yeah, here comes the thunder. Right. It's like when the Winston jumps on you and you're widowed. <laughs> Jason's so mad right now. Which means I approve. Let's try something. I'm not that high up in the air. Never mind. We're not going to try that yet. <laughs> Wait. 
what will you do? Okay. Well, I have several plans. I have to assess which plans are a good idea at the moment. We're going to go with plan A. <laughs> Retreat? No, no. Plan A is dragon's breath. See? See? Cool. What kind? Cold. Okay. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> <laughs> What's the size of the cone? It is 15 feet. I am 10 feet away from him. And so in the air. I'm in the air. So no one... Uh, but also, because he's so big, he would just fall back like anyway. Sure. Unless I guess it would be cool. Sure. Well, yeah, but runner. Runner's fine. Where's runner? He's right in front of Valor. Oh, I Ballor don't see him at all. Fulton. Valor's too big. He's too big. Oh, Valor didn't take a second action. Oh, sucks to suck, Valor. Oh. It's me who can out. <laughs> no, it was going to be a runner. Yeah. Um. I mean, are we playing Monopoly rules? No. He, I'll just pretend like he didn't. Yeah, it is Monopoly rules, isn't it? You can do whatever you do until the next Crush person you don't know. Crush it, pull his ass yeah. out of the way. <laughs> 26 points of cold damage. He takes what? 26 points of cold damage. Nice. Ice. Ice. Completely. Dun 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 Okay, we're gonna stop now. Anyway. Crusher. Yo. It's your turn. What's up? Let's take one of those three attacks. Does a 14 hit? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Uh, there we go. Does a 22 hit? Yes. All right. 22 hit. Nine does seven. Uh, plus three. 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 15 points of damage. Oh. 15 points. Okay. Of slashing damage. And then... Natural 20! Yeah. Heck yeah! Oh, what is this one? Double it! I rolled a 3. So, uh, 11 plus 14 points of damage. Okay. Good for Dan Seera. Which is something! Um... I would like to try a thing. Okay. I'm going to try to intimidate him. Okay. Uh, must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, I am positively <laughs> intrigued by this one. You're going to look like a little puppy, like, wandering up to the like, thing. And, like, like Scrappy Doo, like, trying to fight me. <laughs> Have you ever seen that video where it's, like, some kind of, uh, uh, like, a wildlife thing and the cat is threatening the lion. Mm. Or, or like bears running from dogs. Oh, remember the little chicken hawk from the foghorn <laughs> leopard cartoon? Let me at it! Let me! <laughs> I gotta know what you're gonna do. Yes, uh, I think we all need to know. Exactly and what happens? What like, if, if it fails, I need to know, because I, I just I have to. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out one of the rotten apples out of my thing and we're gonna smash it on my head and then we're gonna go welcome to the brig nope what happens like with like uh if the fail if a fail were to happen if a fail were to happen uh must have seen if some of the crusher would cry <laughs> uh it is you'd have it is frightened right until the end of my next right. turn let me look frightened of you or in general? Uh, I think it's of them. Or be frightened until the end of my next turn. Yeah, which means that he cannot go attack near him. or attack Crusher. I think he has he can disadvantage. Attack them, but he has disadvantage on attacking them. He can't yeah. move near anyone. Yeah. He rolled a 12. 
<laughs> oh my god. But I scared him. <laughs> You're not exactly sure how, but you does like does he have to move or is he just he like... doesn't have to move uh he can't move closer to me uh he just has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while i'm within his line of sight cool so that happened you actually see him like a little bit nervous around you thanks for making sure you choose another target <laughs> where's cassie your sister goes? well he has <laughs> disadvantage on all ability checks and attack rolls not just towards me. Really? Oh, well then, I'm glad you said that. Mm-hmm. Alright, next in the order oh, is the good that. doctor. Uh, Wawi with a 15 to hit. That does not hit. Kogo with better. a 11 to hit. Does not hit. Kobe with a 7 to hit. <laughs> does not hit. <laughs> I love that it just kept getting worse. Right. doing well. <laughs> That's a hundred. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. So he's got a disadvantage on you. I'm gonna pull my hands together and like a web of saving throws. Uh, lightning, sort of like a la Doctor Strange before he pulls out the shit. And just another guiding bolt. He has to make a. No, wait, this is a hit. This is a yeah. Control. Um, and attack tactics, I get advantage again. Um, does a 24 hit? Yes. Yeah, no. I, I know you only saw the six. No, I saw. Oh, okay. Um, that is eight d six. Jesus. Uh, ten. Sounds more like they were Sorry, rolling for me. Uh, twenty-seven <laughs> points of damage, and the next attack on him has a. As the bolt from the, I guess it would be like black lighting, would be her. It's whatever you want. Is that radiant, necrotic. It's radiant, but it's you. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's whatever you want it to be. It's not gonna be like green. And I'll hang him. All right. Uh, next in the order is Noah who has just con- taken his spot back at the corner and is just going to stay there. Faintly playing music as he hides in the corner. Um, after him is Runner, who is now literally right next to him mm-hmm. <laughs> and is not okay with this. But He's going to run. He's going to run. I mean, would you blame him? No. <laughs> no I blame him too. I told him he didn't cry. Because his face is in pain. No, no, no. He's gonna take a five foot step away from Valor. <laughs> Sorry, you're just gonna keep going. And he is going to. Oh, he can't cast that again. Well, he's just gonna go back to his old staple. He's gonna cast Magic Missile. A lot of the the darkness. At the darkness, literally the, the evil darkness. Um, he has other spells he could cast, but he's nervous about like hitting you guys, so he's uh, not going to use those. I mean, unless you would rather him like. Is a magic missile fire damage? Huh? What is it? Four. Hmm. Nope. It's not going to do much, but it's going to do something. And that's... that's what I tell myself every time I attack. <laughs> that's what I say every time I hit on a woman. 
Um, he did about 10 points of damage. Oh, shoot, four points. Weird. He did something. Mm-hmm. He did something. <laughs> um, he's also going to look Valor right in the eye while shaking and tell him to piss off. Piss off, ghost. Taka's like, I'm really proud of you, Runner. He also looks like he's like five seconds away from crying. Oh. Again, I don't blame him in the slightest. Um, next in the order is Maka. I'm going to attack him. Nice. Um. Wait, when do they take the fire damage? At Balor's turn. Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna move up because my sword. Can I move up? It's in my thing. Yeah, I think um, we decided to do like ten by ten whenever. Yeah, he's whenever he's also on top of the platform though. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm within five feet of him though. Right? He's on the platform. It's so the platform. Have to go to the stairs. You would have to go to the stairs. That's yeah. fine. Um. <laughs> he's like up his butt. <laughs> Are you serious? The first one misses. Do you know that? Yeah. Um The second one is a twenty two. That'll hit. Sweet. Um uh, and it's just the short sword I had issues with. Oh actually it's a twenty three. Um Sorry, he's not frightened. It was an action. I thought it was a feature. Oh, never mind. You did. You intimidated him a little bit, though. Sure. You got that at least. Four ones. Ah, that's twenty-one, twenty-seven, twenty-seven points. Of piercing damage. That's like weird. Okay. Plus. I know, right? And uh, that's it. Alrighty. Bring some sage. We are back to the top of the round once again with Cassidy. Can I, can I expend Third. two good cards? Okay. Attack. Attack each attack. Um. What is what does it say? Uh, it doesn't say anything. I'm just checking with the DM. It does, it does not restrict me from going over. Since I'm doing three attacks, I should be able to expend a grip point in each attack. It doesn't give me any restriction on like a turn. It just says if you do an attack, you can use a grip point. I looked it up as well. Yeah, I was thinking it's a turn. I don't see anything that says it's a turn. It's not my dice. I got two left. So. Now that he's got disadvantage. I mean, he's not right. It's an action. Oh, yeah, I, I thought it was a feature. It's an action. Not want you. Okay, okay. I'm not going to not attack him. <laughs> that's, right. That's fair. That's fair. So he doesn't have this advantage at all. Okay, never mind. Then. Sorry about you. Then never mind. I don't need to expend two grip points. I just okay. need to expend one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it looks like only one of those shots is going to hit. So I take it a. Uh, 13 does not hit. No. How about a 20? No. Oh, wait, sorry, 20, yes. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, where did I really get this damn thing? Okay. I was waiting for three numbers, and I thought you were doing the first lower. All right, so that attack is going to be only 17 points of damage, but I am using a grip point, hit, and I am damage. casting Dazing Shot. Make a constitution saving throw over 17, or suffer disadvantage on attacks until the end of the next turn. When you say the next turn, you mean like the end of the next person's turn or the next, your next turn? Until the end of their next turn. You rolled an 18. You got me! <laughs> this, isn't, this, Is Isn't master. your DC 17? Huh? Isn't your DC 17? The same, the constitution saving throw was a 17. Yeah, so he's made yeah. by two every single Sorry, it oh. wasn't a an actual eighteen. It was like dirty. Well, I tried to go for his constitution instead of his strength. So, 
true. I'll give you guys the stats after the game is over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is bonker balls. All right, it is Balor's turn. Well, who's after Balor? Um, on deck would be Carol. Okay, we need to take a break. Nah. Um, I mean, th- this fight's almost over. Spoiler alert. We're about to be wiped. <laughs> exactly. No. Balor is going to fly into the air about. At the start of his turn, people take fire damage. Yes. Makawawi. Uh, and Crusher. And Crusher. Uh, it's 10? Yeah, he'll, mm-hmm. he'll take 10 points of fire damage. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what are you rolling for? Undead fortitude. Oh. And he did it. Oh no! Wowie is no oh, longer no. in his oh, no. Goodbye, Wowie. Wow, that... Sleep well, pale prince. Again. Again, yes. You can just set him right here. Dead forever now. No, this is mine. Oh, okay, I was just saying you could set him there for now. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll also take 10 points. Did you take 10? I did. All right, okay. and then Maka will also take 10 when she yeah. gets back. Okay. Um, <laughs> you rolled a four. <laughs> Valor is going to fly into the air, like I said. Is he leaving my range? I mean, yes. I would like to use a reaction to attack him and use Sentinel, so if I hit him, he uh, his speed is reduced to zero. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mako will take an attack of opportunity as well. Yes. Uh, 14 plus, plus 10. Yeah. Alright, that'll hit. 14 plus 10. Uh, That's uh, 10 damage to him. Okay. Right, um, and while we would, but he is dead, dead now. Full dead. Um, Burning zombie on the ground. <laughs> Let's see if we, can, if we can make the money stand on these. Oof. Probably so. No, not Wally. Hey, you made an attack. <laughs> yeah, you hit him for 10, but you also got hit for 10. Attack of opportunity? Yeah. Yep. Was it 10 fire? No. Uh, what you got well, hit with was no, you hit him. Because he's ten. leaving their threat. Oh, yeah, he hit you with 10 fights. So, oh, fine. He's flying. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. Anyone gets an, at least one attack of opportunity. So, like, so if. You have to be in melee and holding whatever weapon. You also, Cassidy, I need you to pick a square to be in because you're in two. Oh, okay. Sorry. I really want to do four, but, you know. Cassidy's we can just use suspension good. of disbelief and say I he's flying because like I'm, I'm nervous <laughs> that things just going to keep falling. No, he's perfectly fine. <laughs> All right. He has no one up there to use his sword on, but he is again going to use the whip on Runner. Leave him alone! <laughs> Get away from him, you bitch! <laughs> How high is he flying? Okay. Aliens quote the <laughs> He is flying about 30 feet in the air. Okay. So he's still got reach. So he's getting straight drop right in her down. Ooh. You rolled a one. Sucks to suck, demon. Hey, he's been doing pretty well so far. Let's not taunt him just yet. He can attack me on Excuse the way you. up. That's all I do. Um, he has no one to attack the longsword with. Wait, how high in the air is he? 30 feet. Just how, short. <laughs> how high in the air am I? I don't know. You never said. You're 10, aren't you? Mm-mm. How's so higher than that? What is, how, how is, what, what is each square? Five? Yeah. 10, Damn! That's 90. Mm. We're not doing that again. We're not doing that math again. So close. We did this before with another fight. Wait, if you go all yeah. the way back there, you're 120, aren't you? Yeah, but could I still see him from back there? I am in a uh, doorway. Yeah. How tall is the doorway? Exactly. Yeah. See? Not- Let's just go standard doorway. No. And, uh, yeah. It's like, and... And I hit the door jam. Oh. Um, that is all he is going to do then for his turn. Next yep. in the order is going to be Kara. 
I'll fly yeah. a little bit higher so I catch him. Okay. Uh, and I will be circling because while I'm flying, I cannot not be moving. So I'm going to skirt him. And he's going to get... Tokyo Drift, Chick Weiser. <laughs> Twenty-two points of cold damage. Dragon's breath. All right. Just flying around the circle like. Mm. What happens next? Will shock you. Is nice. <laughs> is a blur. A blur. A blur. A blur. As you as your magic strikes the demon, you see the fire in his eyes and his mouth and start to dim. His wings stop moving, and he begins to fall. Oh, shit. Who's underneath him? Crusher runner. and Runner and Maka. I can't move that fast. <laughs> runner, just just for DM's sake, how good are you on health? Like, how do you look? Do you look fine? Do you look hurt? I look I'm definitely hurt, but I don't look like I'm about to die. What would it look like if you're about to die? As a robot. I think it's pieces falling off. Pass by? Huh. I remember that. Yeah. And you you still look pretty fine, don't you? I I look great. I look practically unscathed. I look like I came in, or that I have more hit points than I came in here with. <laughs> I, also <laughs> like I also look like I have more hit points than I nice. normally have. I don't look like I'm more, but well. I look exactly as good as normal. <laughs> <laughs> as the demon falls, you hear Runner yell, Everyone get out of the way! And he actually does run to you, Crusher, and tries to push you out of the way. How tall is Runner? How much does Runner weigh? Are you going to contest it? <laughs> no, but I'm... Uh, he, he, if you're not going to contest it, he can bully over. 400 pounds. Yeah, he's trying to like push you to get you out of the way. I... It should have like... Taken well, the taking, taking into consideration your or... like center of gravity, if you're not resisting it, he should can be I, able to shove you. Can I take a dexterity you. saving throw to see if I can do it? Because I'm not... Sh- I'm Cass isn't sure. Can I take a dexterity saving throw to figure out if this... If I'm able to react in time, um, no, you're fine. Like, okay, okay. Just do you move? Yes, I move with him. Actually, uh, I no, I don't move with Runner. I try and save Maka. Okay, so you like push past him. I'm pushing. Uh, he's coming this way. I'm moving that way. All right, How um, much room is he taking up as he falls? I mean, like he's gonna take up more than he would when he's standing, though. I know, so, but. Like... I just need to know everyone's movement patterns. I I'm, say, I'm moving towards Maka to try and grab her. I was going to say, both okay. Maka and like, Runner no! are 10 well, feet away waiting. from him. They would be in the, in the range. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my movement is I'm going to touch the rock. <laughs> <laughs> the rock is no longer glowing. No. I, I realize what's about to happen and start running towards, but I ain't going to make it. Okay. I have so lightning, fast reflexes, so evasion is what is the right. move. Except so here's what happens. As here, give me the dice. Get off the stage. You're no longer needed. <laughs> okay. Rip. Oh, I didn't see his face. He's cute. He falls more like this. But Crusher is gonna. Die. Using this as like a thing to move is okay. not easy. The pusher. Perfect. Perfect. He falls. Keep going! He's going up to you guys. Runner is? Yes. Thanks, Runner. We were gonna. Where do you run to? Uh, If I have to move, then I move like... I just... Kind of try and make sure he's okay, but just move out of the way. I don't move far. I need to know where you move. I need you to place yourself. I mean, I would still be here if he fell over here. He told, but he said to keep going, keep running. And runner said doing? that. I would ignore runner. Uh, like, I will run towards the bookcase essentially. Okay. 
Where, where, uh, my movement speed is 40. So, oh, you don't, you don't have a full round to get there. You can get half a round okay. yeah. to get up. You weren't, obviously, you weren't down, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give him, like, maybe 10 feet, but I'm not, like, trying to leave, leave. Here? Yeah. And I'll be able to raise Where here. was I? Um, you were, like, oh, you're, you were in the air. I just kind of moved you back a okay. little. Okay. But just, you're, you're fine. I was yeah. moving you out of the way so they could actually, like, move somewhere. Okay. When I hear runner, I'm going to look at what direction he's going and just... He is attempting to run that way, but he doesn't get far. You see Bowler's body explode. Ooh. And... Yeah. Just that kind of shit I like. Just that kind of shit I like. No. Little news. No. And I don't have... I don't like this. Well, this is gonna take a minute, guys. Hold on. Yeah. That's why I like to roll all ones. It's so much easier to add. Mm -hmm. Now you made it awkward. Strategic decision that I Kids who know they're in trouble, but like are waiting yeah. to see what the punishment is. <laughs> you watch as runner attempts to run away and gets caught in the middle of the blast. He takes seventy-three points of damage <laughs> and falls to the ground. Also, just casually remove that. Combat is over. Doc, how big was the explosion? I continue running over twenty feet. Huh? Twenty feet was the explosion. It would have gotten me. Oh, too. it would have. Mm -hmm. Think me. That makes me feel a little bit comforted because I was thirty feet in the air. Yeah, yeah that would have gotten me too. Only my friend. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, no. It would have got both y'all. 73? Yeah. What's All the, right. what's the, um... There, oh, there, no there is a save. I'm sorry, there is a save. <laughs> um, I need y'all to make me a deck save. For half. Did runner get a deck save? advantage. <laughs> what, uh... Cat's grace. What's One the... hour. Yeah, oh. I took advantage. What is the DC? DC is 18. Yeah, I still failed it. Oh. Okay. I made it. Can I use mine to step in front of Crusher? That was literally the instinct. Because he was five feet from me. If there's an explosion... You can. Okay, so I take the full damage. And I take half? Yes. 75, or let me let me do the math for that. I said 75, right? Or 73. 73. 73. Alright, um, then instead Crusher will take... 35. Okay. Because we round down. Close enough. Mark, are you still alive? Barely. Oh, God, thank goodness. I have no so, problem. Maka looks like she might have as many as four hit points. Left. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it went, she went from full to just, like, staggering and almost dead. I am so glad you got five tipper. <laughs> <laughs> literally that's what happened when he was in my range when he started his turn if it wasn't for that literally would have just been unconscious already 
All right, so everybody over there is okay. Uh, I run over the Lord Runner. Yeah, I'm right. still headed toward and the Runner. I drop, every, I drop all the rounds out of my gun. Just let them hit the floor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't do that yet. See if, call the doctor. He's oh, I'm, doctor. Yelling, I'm yelling, doc. What was that noise? Doc, get the fuck over here right now. And I'm Ooh, trying you to see, like, on. Is it gone? What happened to him? You do see that, oh. like, anything that was in the area that was flammable is on fire, like, is smoldering or on fire. So Put clothes, out the fires! Yeah, clothes, like, there's not much, but you do see that there's, like, clothing and stuff that, like, padded out. Is runner on fire? Yes. Um, I take, I take off my coat and just smother it. Wow, the, the fire, not the, smother, the, fire, smother, <laughs> not the fire. already dead guy. Just, oh, okay, like, <laughs> and just put him out. No, it doesn't matter anyway. Just one. Um, oh, I'm gonna cast uh, uh, deal wounds at level one because I don't really much care about runner. I wouldn't have healed him at all if nobody had yelled at me. Uh, eight hit points, so he's conscious again. Hold on a sec. Marco's using Chibi as a pillow. <laughs> Just like, she knows there's stuff to look for and stuff to front, but like, I'm gonna need a second. I only got hit one and a half times, but it was a doozy. Imagine it was right there. Had a hit, like even in the game, but it's just. Uh, while I'm putting the runner out. Oh, oh, hold on, sorry. hold on. I was just going to talk. Okay, go. go. Uh, I yell out, you know, Maka, Kira, Crusher. I'm right by you. Because shit's like, on drop. No, you're not. Well, she did say she I did move yeah, there. We just didn't move the mini. Okay. She's right there. I can't hear him the. Okay, so I just yell for Crusher and Maka. Because you're not playing anymore, right? Not now. I just Maka's hear. laying down. Are you okay? <laughs> it um, seems in character gosh, that's her good. response yeah I'm gonna well the doctor's over here tending to our formerly dead man I'm gonna go over to the other two Could have made him much cooler. and I'll heal you <laughs> no. guys Aww. I'll heal you guys You notice that your healing doesn't do anything. For me. Don't you have a resurrection spell? Anything? Does nothing. No, I found a 500 diamond worth. Uh, I grabbed. I, I, I grab, so there's no diamonds. effect? There's no effect. I grab Doc and I say, do it again. No, I'll do it again. And I'll cast it at second level. Twenty-four points of healing, Maka. Oh, oh, wait, hold uh, on. Ten points. Add five to that, so twenty-nine. Ten points to run it. Nothing happens. Oh, I grab, I grab Doc this time. Do it again. I'm trying. Wait, didn't he touch that rock? Noah just, like peeks up. What in the? Bl oh my god. Get your ass over here and do some healing. Thirty-three points of healing. Crush him now. Right, he he comes over there. Can someone move him? His poor over there. Like, you understand that healing isn't going to do anything if he's already dead. He ain't dead. Do it again. Do it. Are you certain about that? We're not certain about it. You're like, help, maybe? We don't need your left. Is the right cleric's now. healing magic doing anything? Is it Runner, how are you feeling? He doesn't feel great. Then it's not working. All right, I grab him and just try to like wake him up or whatever. And, like he's out, his fire, the fire's out. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so shake him, healing round. Did you kill my boy? He appears to be dead. Alright. I uh just kinda put the coat 
Marcus face. Marcus looking at the doctor is like, you can't resurrect people? No. <laughs> with what you have on you? No. She had never realized that before now? Like I do. She yeah. does it. She's like, oh, okay. She's been treating him like a get out of jail free <laughs> card, kind of. No, you have nothing? Do you really want to take the risk that I could even try and heal him? And make if it worse? You have, there's not worse. If you can do something, yeah, not healing. Worse. I could end up hurting all of you instead. I'd rather not chance it. Yeah, at any rate, we've I noticed asked... that you would rather not chance it in general. He you know who chanced matter. it? We may still need his help. Who? Werner. Just look at he's gone. I know he cannot be healed. Marco, he's gone. I don't trust you to be the one to say that. You seem to have a sketchy relationship with who's dead and who's alive and what that means. I just asked. I'm, I'm I know just that you know that. your stuff. I'm just asking if he could do anything. I know he's dead. I'm gonna walk away. Noah is going to um, take the opportunity to start looking around the room, see if he can find anything regarding their people. Is yeah, the I'll start. can I uh, look in the desk? Yeah. Is the Pizza oven still there? It's there, but it's no longer on. Essentially, okay. <laughs> the pizza oven is off. I mean, it's, okay. You just it's see all, like a blank it's always wall. scary when you leave it out. So I feel like it's a good thing. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. You just see like a stone wall behind the archway now. I uh, I get up. I'm gonna walk over to Doc and just put my hand on his shoulder and say, "Thank you." And I'm gonna um, roll to search the desk. I'm gonna kind of pick up Maka. And kind of put her in my lap and put my uh, my beautiful blowing blue cape, and I'm gonna kind of wrap it around her and just Aww. like hold her. If I'm she gonna cast me. identify as a Probably ritual on the stone gate. Probably for a couple of minutes because yeah. she's like an ADD toddler. Yeah. So she's like, oh, this is nice, and she doesn't say anything because she can't process positive emotions. <laughs> and then she starts looking around <laughs> at the room for stuff. Can I do that? I do that thing that you do with cats, where for a second you're like. Oh no, I'm still. Oh no, you actually do want to go. Okay. <laughs> As Mark is like, <laughs> scratch the face. Bam. But uh, yeah, I'm going to let her go and uh, just push up against the wall and just kind of sit there. All right. Um, all right. You, know, you know that this is a summoning portal and that it has teleportation magic from the other planes. Specifically connected to the plane that Valor was from. I don't have that written down, so. It's the I'm gonna guess hell, fire. Fire. Yeah, it's from one of the layers of hell. You know that. I got a 14th search the chest of the okay. desk. Dress. All right, um, you find a note basically detailing how to find or or where in the walls they have their the secret room for the sacrifices where in the walls do they have the secret room for the sacrifices i wish this was a laser pointer so since it's not we're just going to use this stick oh, it's that's just... a pencil it's just it'd be a stick to me i mean it, it, it's, it's technically a long also a stick thing that's right, made out right. of wood yeah Hey, that's what she said. That's not sexy. <laughs> no, it's not. not to you. Fair no, enough. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think that was particularly sexy. I didn't either, either <laughs> but like, it's fun to put fun to her. Went off the dirt. Sorry, I think it's washable. It's a wet erase marker. Does it say how to open it? Um, it says to place your hand on the stone 10 feet up. Okay. <laughs> or 10 feet from the floor. I wasn't going to tell anybody where it was. <laughs> and just now open you... it myself, but now I have to. I There's would... nothing else in the desk? Um, no, like uh, black onyxes worth 350 gold pieces? I was going to go up. If he searches the desk it. by himself, I was going to give him some space for a few minutes and then come up and kind of like help since it's my thing to try and talk to him for a second. 
I'm just gonna go okay. kneel. I'm gonna go yeah. just kneel and by runner. In infernal. I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, I just don't really understand. Are you gonna what you're trying to do? And I just I just Plus no is useless, right? So if I could get somebody who <laughs> Something out of him would be nice. But I'm not trying to. I don't think you don't know what you're talking about, and I don't think you haven't been helpful. This is more about use of an asset that I don't care if he has the resources or not. Uh, we're at a point now that. <laughs> it's not necessarily my evaluation of people that matters whether I help them or not. I am not in charge of this group. And I'm working on my own things, sure, but the group comes first. That's what I'm here for. No. I'm not here to say, to decide who lives and who dies. I'm like, well. <laughs> oh, right, Infernal. Um, Where are y'all standing? My voice talk about can't see right. yeah, They're over by the desk. Like I'm okay. just like, I... <laughs> he realized it mid. I guess what? this group has somewhat of an emotional attachment to him, but I was just more about, worried about the remainder of today. Until we get her people and what up, today's not over. Did, did That's really where my thought process is. Oh, what the hell? Is there any cloth in this room? If That's not on fire. Yeah, <laughs> Ideally. On fire, but... No. <laughs> hey, is that something about a secret room? Oh, I might not need them after all. Anyway, I have extra clothes. You want me to boost? You? I have extra clothes. You need to get ready. Here. No, I'm five. I gave him five, six, some extra clothes. Seven. Yeah, I started boosting uh, you. You'd be tall enough. Just like three, though. You'd be, oh. you'd be eight and cold with a one foot reach. So I, I hand him, I hand him the hat of floating. Oh, nice. Or you should and be I'm like, there you go. You can do it. Okay. Mummy style? Just to cover up what's been done to him. Because if he caught fire, it's yeah. probably bad. It's, it's not good. Close case. Anyone ever heard of the hat, the feather hat for us? Huh? I give him the no, feather hat so he can cool. float up and push okay. himself. Well, I also right. don't know if I'll be able to do it with my hand because I don't have the normal number of fingers. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. And I'm full-blooded. <laughs> oh. So all of those combined. We'll see. Maybe it's about the pressure. <laughs> Nothing happens. Damn it. What are you try doing? harder. <laughs> I put the hat on, have the normal number of fingers and very hot you blood. Have, you don't need it. It's ten feet up. Oh yeah, you do. You need it. Never mind. I can't I dunk a basketball standing up. Dunk. Yes, you can. Not oh, without yeah. jumping. And I'm bad at jumping. We get say, people who might cheaty, achieve that. Crusher, Maka, me. and then the doctor. All like, are you they see? trying to hit a switch that's ten feet up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you assume. You don't know. We're just yeah. going, we just wait to the it's desk a, and then we walk to a random a spot door. on the wall yeah. and we're like, yeah, it's your arrow. <laughs> but yeah, like, I do it. Alright. As you do it, a little eye icon appears. Yep. <laughs> and then it closes. Closes and the a door opens up beneath you. Like, where, <laughs> like, underneath where you were. Um, you see the stone pull away and there is a doorway. This is a treasure room. I don't know. Check the traps. Mm. Inside, before you go in, you can hear shuffling and movement of uh, metal and feathers. I'm just going to go ahead and say feathers. You can, you can see in there. Okay. Do I hear anything? Yes. I screech. From here? She can see it. Uh, you hear screeches back. I duck instinctively. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think she's about to come flying <laughs> over my head. Do you go flying over their heads into the I'm room? I'm not going to fly over their heads. I will fly up to the doorway. Oh, All right. like I'm back out of the doorway as soon as she starts moving. Do you have a second lockpick? Uh, I gave it to Eric. The door is open. 
Oh, for the cages. <laughs> but, yeah, for the cages. And he ran across the street. Um, inside, Cassidy, do you go inside the room? Uh, did you check this for traps? I mean, well, know, why would it be traps? I didn't check it for traps because it was a secret door. Yeah. I mean, but I it's... can go in first. Yeah, just in case. I don't know. Yeah, wanna... if I run in, then if she says something about traps, I run in so she can get in faster. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Run in. <laughs> Get trapped by the bear trap and die. <laughs> Nothing happens. With four HP. Yeah. Well, no, no. No, I got away. some. Yeah. yeah. Nothing happens. Um, as you go in, the torches automatically light <gasps> in the room. You see that the walls are lined with these cages, and you see a individually lot. locked. You see a lot of aracocra in the cages. They're more like cells mm-hmm. than uh, like pet cages or something. Are there keys in there? There is a set of, a ring of keys next to the doorway. It's right oh, next to one of the cells, so you could actually reach if you were really determined. No, not okay. quite. Okay, so I'd yeah, get stop that trope. Start. I was going party five. So well. <laughs> I unlock all the air coker cages first because I don't know what else they need. They are now free. They're they're obviously very malnourished, and wo- some of them are wounded, so they don't like rush out. I'm going to heal them. I'm just how many? Well, I don't have mass heal because yes. I figured that the doctor probably had that, so I didn't take it. <laughs> I mean, I think you're overestimating how much I care about healing. No, I I do I have it, but I already doctor. I do have it, but I already used the spell slot. Hideous laugh if that can help anyone. No, I I have, have, yeah, I have oh, masked your wounds, but I don't. I don't have, have rage. Have rage. <laughs> I already used the spell slot. Yeah. I'll use all my first level slots to heal, so I'll heal three of them. I take out, I have, I think, three health potions. I get two of them. Actually, he's holding one for me, but I get the other two. I have 11 spell slots worth of healing that I could do. Okay. All right, between the two of you, you heal quite a bit of them that are, that you see. And, like, when they see you, and, like, after they've healed and everything, they just, like, I get dog piled. Yeah, pretty much, you bird get piled. you get bird piled in a big group hug. They do like the hold you, hoist you up, everything. They better not do that to me. She is <laughs> trying to make friends. One of them, do, like one of them, hugs that. you and starts to pick you up. And as you like, <laughs> as as you make it quite clear you don't want to be picked up, they set you down and like pat your head. <laughs> I cast thaumaturgy to make his like eyes look scarier and him look more intimidating. They leave him be very quickly. And then and... I go hang out with my skelly boys. <laughs> right I'm about right to survive. Yeah. <laughs> what else is in the room in the other cages? Just the cages. Just the yeah. Eric Oh, you do see a doorway right. He... Sorry. <laughs> Here, and you see a staircase. Leading up and out of the out of the basement, basically, you basically have your exit out of the singular stone room in the at the bottom. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess after we unlock all the cages and stuff, I go take a short rest or something. At some point, I want to like look through the trash pile and help identify anything. All of a sudden, you need to talk to Cassidy, and then the rest of us can. About the what? Uh-huh. He's been sitting here like with the body, basically crying. This yeah, I'm whole probably done wrapping up. Literally not even paying attention to the fact that we just free her whole people. Yeah, Noah's He's also taking it weirdly hard. Noah is helping Cassidy as much as he'll let him, because on a lo- on some level he feels guilty, but he's not going to say that. All right. Uh some point, Maka just goes and sits beside him for the short rest and doesn't say much for a while. Takes the bag of holding that he had and takes out, like, we have alcohol. We have some alcohol. Oh, yeah. Y- y'all just... Actually, I think y'all still have some of the flower um, flower mead. I think so, too. From Yeehaw Ranch. And I pour a couple of drinks and then... It's really fermented now. <laughs> I will... But while they're doing that, I'll see if ABD I can get the air coker gathered it. up and then make a, a pyre of the dead ones. They they help you 
with that and go through their ritual of mourning. I'm not sure what it is, but they do the thing. If there are any of them, are there still any of them that can't walk? Um, there's some that have that are having trouble walking, but you can tell that they're they'll they're fine. They'll okay. they they, they will. Fly. I they, they can fly. I carry them like out of the cages. They well, that was whenever we were here. Right? Yeah, 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 they're yeah. they're nervous at first. That's fair. Be- because yeah. of He's you, but when they see that, I you're... will tell them that this is my first pressure. And and when they like after the first one that she pick that he picks up and carries out and is very gentle with, they relax. Also, just picture like, Chibi with a bandera cover riding on him, like <laughs> just like thrilled. Hippo, like also, a hippo with a little bird. I'm thinking she walks in and they're like, "Oh my goodness, you got here so fast!" And one in the back's gonna be like, "We've been here for 20 years." Because <laughs> they <laughs> don't know how long. <laughs> they don't know how to tell time. <laughs> <laughs> been 15 years. It's been Quit. five minutes. Close enough. Quit telling everybody I'm dead. Maka just looks like Cassidy and she's like. He was miserable before he met us. We improved what he had for a while. Do you want to put him with the funeral pyre? Or do you have some other preferred way that you'd like to bury him? Nope. I pick him up and I say, are we done here? I mean, after I'm the ready to rest, leave. the short rest. We'll do a short Pretty rest. Pretty sure you right? don't like being underground? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> sure you don't like being in a... While you like the Palace of the Dead thing going on here, I'm sure you also don't like the fact that a giant demon walked out of that portal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mako would have taken dagger and prestige, like, broken up some of the solid lines. Oh, yeah. She knows enough to at least know that that's probably a good idea. Yeah, obscure some of the symbols and stuff. I got a better idea. <laughs> yeah. I'll burn the whole place to the ground. I'm blowing the place up. <laughs> That'll work. I'm going to drop a charge right in the center of it. We should leave now. Dope. Uh, crush it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we got to go back through the portal, I guess. No. Do you, no, 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 uh, there is a there's there's a stairway leading up out in where the air is. Oh, okay. Stairway. Um, everybody, go. Hi, I'm resistant to fire and I'm healed now. I'll do it, just to make I can remotely throw one of my old daggers or something. Please give us some time. Oh yeah, you're gonna want that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. well, makes more I sense. Can't fly up the stairway. You know what? Because it goes in a line. I can't walk thirty just... feet. And that's a whole village of people that can't. Yeah, a whole village of people um, who all. Yeah, how many of them are left? There's still a good chunk of them left. It looks like they were getting ready to do the full sacrifice, and he just took like the final leap with his own blood leap. So like 80, 40, I don't have a number. I don't oh, okay. have a number. A mess of them. A whole mess of them. A flock of them. But she a whole flock of them. Cassidy do it. Like she doesn't. She stays behind with him. Yeah. Yeah, these things don't have a, a, a huge blast radius. I just want to get rid of that thing. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Go ahead. All right. Um, Are you getting rid of the portal or the circle? I'm circle. getting rid of the circle. Oh, then you probably don't want to stand on the circle. Yeah, I'm leaving it alone. Like, I don't want okay. to be okay. yeah, yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just a little it, behind. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just want All to. Right, I'm far enough away, so. Kaboom. And then I book it as soon as I fire the shot. So. All right. I let him get in front of me. Because, again, fire resistant. And then he follow him. So I'm not trying right. to get hurt by the fire. Should take either. care of that whole array there. Alright. All, right. all right. Y'all hear the blast as it goes off. The platform, though you can't see it, is destroyed. Um, all of you make it out alright. The exit for the stairway is in what used to be the courtyard of the castle. Where and we fought all those other things? No. Where no. we no. found all of the crushers. And this is where it gets interesting. Because it wasn't interesting before. I was like, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> oh, all, this is where. All of the dead vegetation has come back to life. It's as if the seal was broken and they could thrive again. But it's not just in the courtyard. From where the castle is over the hill, you can see over the desert. 
or at least it would be the desert. You see a lush forest in front of you, greenery as far as the eye can see. And you have completely restored what was called the barren wastelands back to what it used to be. Like Talk to field. the doctor and like, have you ever seen anything it's like, like a that? Field now? Fields and forests. I mean, sort of. It's basically what I do to skeletons, right? Just kind all of. dead bones. And give it I walk life. up and give Toby a flower. Now it's exactly the same. Flower, skeleton, puts it alive. in his nostril socket. <laughs> <laughs> As stop and smell the flowers, Toby. Well done. As y'all are taking a moment to admire what this place has become, you see a familiar, a familiar shape flying towards the castle grounds. Is this a giant dragon? It is the giant brass. Brass. Oh, brass. Okay. I keep wanting to call it wrong. So giant... Not brass. Not brass. The brass dragon comes back to you. Or... Brass like, hey! And he lands delicately as possible in the courtyard. Boom. I imagine we're like a bunch of school children, like running up around, <laughs> like, hey. Not me. Except for the Eric Ogre are fascinated, as you would expect. You've all done very well. So you've taken care of the Balor threat for good. Would you hope so? Uh, one of us didn't make it, one of our later additions. To the party. I see. Hmm. Hand him to me. I'll take him home. Trust me. I I have him. Yeah. So, and I absolutely yeah. hand him over. So <laughs> he does like yeah. this. And then like... you hand it. Give me a moment. Unless you would like to come along. I, I mean, we would really come. like to. I want to come. Okay. So, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming. I assume Dragon Fan over here. <laughs> He's already I'll on his back. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> He's already on his back. Yeah. Um, the, the, Eric Coker, hours. the Eric Coker, by the way, assure you that they're, they'll be able to get back fine and that they'll look, they're looking forward to when you return. You guys aren't great with directions. Are, are yes, sure are you, you sure? sure? <laughs> directions are our thing. Time isn't though. And they okay. start flying away. Like, See you tomorrow yeah. or in thirty years. I don't, I'm I've I'm never lost. I just flying don't ever south for the winter or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, what season is it? Can I tell? Now spring. That? Okay. <laughs> That's all you know. Spring, because I I also don't know what season it is. So we'll go with that one. I'm gonna say now that it's not the spring desert, or summer. I'm not able to tell. It's like so spring, we summer. Fly summer. with him. Like, does he be flying somewhere? Yes, he does. Well, um, once he, he's gathered all of you, except for Kira, because she can fly herself, he lifts off into the air and starts flying back to his cave. His cave now, instead of just looking like this, basically bump in the middle of the desert, is. Like it has like small trees growing off the top of it. It's it's like hidden within a forest. So it looks more mysterious and hidden now. Is that how you knew? Did it just? I had a feeling. He goes inside, obviously with all of you, and he gently lays Renner down on the ground. I have something that I can do for him if you think that it would be something he would want. He was, do they come back different? What is it? Will he be different in a bad way? He'll be confused at first, but he will be the same. He started out kind of rough, but he became a really heroic asset in our party. Yeah. I think he has a lot left to give. All right. You see the dragon I got, did I give him a name, by the way? I don't remember. No, it. And I don't have the, my correct name. I don't so. remember you actually saying his no, name. We, no, the dragon <laughs> had a name. Oh, the dragon? The dragon. I thought you were talking about Renner. I don't want to keep saying the dragon every five seconds. Oops. Just 
Henrietta. No. But no, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that definitely wasn't it. This is clearly the one that can't choose his remotes during the show. <laughs> uh, Alright, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, you see the dragon, like, place his clawed hand, or no, the dragon, um, reverts, sorry, to his human form. Are you really going to make that noise to the dragon? No. Oh. I am fascinated. I'm just thinking. He loses his heart eyes for a second. Boy. And then every person that loves anime pretty boys gains them. Yeah. Anyone who loves anime pretty boys and wants to fuck a dragon, there we go. I feel calm now. Anyway. Do you want to fuck anime pretty boys? Mm-hmm. No, it's the other way. <laughs> it's the other way. Okay, all right. I got it. He lays um, one hand under his head and places one hand on his chest. And you see a faint glow for a moment. It envelops both of them. And it slowly fades. He lays him back down. And... You see Runner <coughs> as he like slowly sits up. Where am I? This isn't this You're isn't the safe. basement. I run towards <laughs> him and just hug him. Oh, okay. Um, hi. Maki gives him a thumbs up from where she is. He, <laughs> he hugs you back, but he's still very like I'm gonna go to like pat him on the shoulder. How you feeling, pal? Uh, confused? Where, where, where's the demon? Dead. The next time someone tells you to get <laughs> back, you're gonna do it or get shot. And then I'll oh. let go of the hunt. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is our friend Brass Dragon. I remember the dragon. In the chorus of people behind us. That's the dragon's <laughs> someone admirers. Is... You remember dragon? How does he know who huh? I didn't remember if he was actually there. Right? No, he wasn't. Oh, he, he wasn't. wasn't. You're right. He wasn't. Wait, yeah. he wasn't? No. Yeah. He, he was at the Mara. <gasps> That's right. Well, we encountered the this orcs. This is our friend then... Brass Dragon. That's yeah, right. orcs. Dragon. That's right. That's right. Yeah. The dragon had oh. I, I can't remember. Um, was it Amara? No. No. Um. <laughs> I did not expect Dragon to be hands? chill. Chill? Hands? Like, I don't know what to say without sounding. The groove? We're going to cut this short, and the more important thing is uh, you did something damn heroic. And you're lucky you're getting another third shot at life here. When was the second? When we did the kill you in the cave. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh. Huh. Think you got six more lives there, kitty cat. Ew. Sorry, that wasn't even pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the the camera pans away like all anime, like as everyone laughs. We are now in the epilogue. It is months after the event has taken place. What was that look for? Because that was really cheesy. Don't care. <laughs> um, Cassidy, what did you do in these last few months? Um, um, as a note, all of you have a note to return to Dawnflower. So between that and that note what were you doing i mean it months later are we having like a separate if you want to i mean i would have advocated for a vacation (laughs) in the back where we in whatever you go back to cobblin i go back to the dwarves to cobblin for a little while okay tell them you know maybe embellish a lot oh of course that's what you do Kira, what about you well, before I left, I gave everyone a big hug, except the doctor. <laughs> Much to his joy. Thank you. Marka popped you're, that you're in front of her. I like... for the first time in my life. I appreciate it. I will offer you a handshake. So, like, you, like he shakes like your finger. 
Hmm? No, we're both real little. Yeah. I know. Not big. It's, it's no, but like feathers and I, weird number uh, of fingers uh, and yeah. like all Eric this Coca stuff. Eric Coca also has like actual That's arms. too many yeah. things. You don't. <laughs> but after you shake his hand or, and or give people hugs, I will also like ask you before I hug you. Like I'm going to just give you a hug <laughs> and Cassie. You and runner. Like side arm oh, hug. before we go? Oh, of course I say goodbye to everybody. Well, yeah. I assume yeah. you all say goodbye in some way to everyone. Nope. <laughs> okay. Not about it. <laughs> and I am going to fly off back to the top of the mountain that I came from. All right. You are greeted with open arms. By the way, real quick, you are greeted with open arms by the dwarves, and they, uh, they have a huge party in your honor for being a hero. As well they should. Of course. <laughs> Um, your people welcome me back with open arms and they also throw like a little mini party mostly that they're all alive yeah I, it's, oh. I asked Crusher if you want to go back I mean the dwarves we did tell you there's a lot of problems in the quarantine building do you have the ability to com- communicate with someone no matter where they are uh, I believe so, yes. You could, or could you get it on a particular yes. day? What, it might Would be, you? It might be good. Like, we're gonna hang out in, I'm gonna hang out in the, the beach town. <laughs> but it might so help you find out sometime. At this and point, Crush is probably your best friend, so. I'll come with you. I'll come if you need me, but maybe I, I will. Um, could you message me every day? Only if the doctor's down for vacation. Are you down to take like a week off in the island town? If I see oh, the guy who hates the sun. And I hear I'll they have do... lots of possums. And then I'll do whatever whatever you're trying to do for a while. But like, you will help me? For a while. With some things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? Okay. So yeah, we can message you every day. Okay. Um, right? <laughs> yes. Come meet the family, buddy. Yeah. You have to come somewhere with me too, though. Deal. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to okay. go see the dwarves first, because I need to know. They lose their shit over Crusher. And I go, and meet my friend! <laughs> they, like, love you. They, they like fawn over you. They talk about how they've seen like constructs like you, yeah. but they've never seen one sentient like you. They've never seen one act like you. Vivi. And yeah. Huh? It's a Vivi. That's, yeah. that's a fun comparison. Thank you. Like, they, 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 they just fucking adore you. Uh, do they have uh, historical records? Mm-hmm. That, yep. Okay. They let you, it, they like, willingly just let you into their archives and offer like like the librarian that keeps it offers his assistance dwarves can read (laughs) (laughs) um so i did as much research as i could uh about people like me people like me about things like me about uh your people the era that i was made and you learn almost anything you could possibly ever want to know. And they even transcribe some of that information for you so you can keep it for yourself. So you can take it with you. And it can help you later. What is the thing that you want to do? We go back to the castle. Now that you've learned more? Do, are you, want to, do you want to like help your, your comrades? I... No, I... They're dead. They're long gone but i want to know i want to look for see if i can figure out like different different ranks if there are different kinds look for Um, numbers look for numbers but also try and figure out i'm because i saw there are there are different kinds of warforged right yeah i'm the biggest kind uh but there are also like spies and uh different kinds of warforged so just uh familiarize myself with them you're able to do that you actually when you go back see noah there like making his own notes and stuff and together the two of you research as bad as he is at magic he's that much better at being like an actual archaeologist and researcher 
Yeah. So the two of you are actually able to find a lot of information. And so Noah does have a talent. Out he does. Huh? <laughs> with my tinkering skills, I just help out however I can. I yeah. yeah, I would need your help. Uh, I'm also I also want to try and study my own anatomy, and Gross. Uh, okay. I would need your help too. Let's see. We're schematizing everything now. Then. Yeah, I lock myself in my room sometimes for a long time. Don't worry <laughs> about it. How many months yeah. is uh, this between? Like three months, three four months. Okay, uh, if I know how, or if I know where. Maka yeah. is going on the beach after like a couple months. I will go there oh, and look like there for, for like yeah. two yeah. weeks. But I we will go look you. for you. <laughs> and when you don't find her, you'll just eat all the shrimp anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we use the doctor to communicate, right? Like, yeah. You can so message me. The first like two weeks, week, two weeks, we go back to what is it? Shell Shellport. Shellport. Hang out with Lorna a lot. Um, and well, also, uh, Lorna's in Calico Bay. That well, Calico Bay, Shellport is the port city. No, I like to see my ship. I mean, you tell them to sell the sail. Seems the like Calico a good place to go because we got a whole boat there. Yeah, and I, I, we work up some routines of like fun, easy ways to steal things. <laughs> of course, and uh, I hang out with Amara some and learn what I can. Because I assume we leveled and learned new spells from her. Yeah, um, Amara's actually not there. Her tent is no longer in Calico Bay. Oh, okay. Then I buy some pretty stuff. Lorna and I hang out. And then we'll go do whatever the doctor wants to do. With most of the time, I don't care. I just wanted a week off to drink. You know, white yeah. raspberry cosmo. What is it you want to do, Doctor? I find lightness. Uh, raise a big enough army of the dead that I can go back to my island and kill my um, uh, clan. What is that called? Clan master? Clan father? Brood, brood, brood father. father. Yeah, cool. we can kill the brood father. I pick up some necro spells from you him. Just a couple. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Maka's done yeah, for a she fight. She stops me or she kills Seven me. Seven weeks later. I mean, she helps me. I arrive in Calico Bay. Like, <laughs> I wonder if Maka's still here. And then we message her, tell her to come where we are, and we're like, and here's Toby. Of course, you know Toby and Hoga, but here's like Jeff, Richardson, Angela, Greg, Anthony, Angela, Bobby one, Bobby two. <laughs> I mean, by the end, I've learned how to start putting multiple skeletons together, nope. and the crowning achievement of my whole life. Oh, no. I made a bone devil. Ooh. Wow, rude. He's like 22 feet tall. <laughs> so you have a giant scary. bone mech now. Basically, yeah. And I teach them. Because I just see you riding on it laughing maniacally. <laughs> spooky, spooky, scary. All right. Well, so. not that I ever have an expression on my face, but <laughs> you Put see no judgment energy as hard as it can. Yeah. Words are always judging. Okay. Yeah. With the head. Right, so. All of you get the missive to return to Dawnflower on some on important business. As you as you all start making your way back, you run into each other outside of the town and have like you know your own little reunion. Like, oh hey, why are you here? Oh, me too. Haven't talked to you since yesterday. Yeah. Cassidy and... slims down some. A lot of walking was done. Thanks. Oh, I see. Martha's flying for considerably longer than they were. We put a special gel on. I oh, notice, it, I it, helps, go, it helps with the chafing, right? It's good. Like, like horn weird. chafing? You really don't know anything about... Can we like, say that we were yes. working on getting the red color drawn, so she's gone back to her like, gray Yeah. Ish. I'm a doctor. Like a we were working together. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it helps with the chafing. Like, I know what you're doing, like, but do you like, have any spell chafing. slots? Like, exactly. So we don't need my makeup now. Um, all of you um, go to the Honeysuckle Inn, where the missive tells you to go. And as you enter, you hear a roar of excitement. <gasps> Is it my best friend? Is it Adam? It's everyone. Everyone that you've helped. Through your adventures, the whole thing. Walks For the most part, yeah. daggers, like, <laughs> and, like, what do we do? Adam with? and Sylvia are at a table, and as quiet as Adam is, usually you hear him over everyone cheering for all of you, 
like clapping, standing, like so excited. You even see the young woman that you helped in the in the village that had all the spiders. She's there. She actually looks very good. She looks like she's probably moved to a city that's not secluded. And she's overjoyed to see you, but she's like trying to contain it. Um, you, uh, see, I'm trying to, now I'm trying to, like, going through all the NPCs we saw. As all this is going on, I just start cheesing it out. Let's, yeah, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. <laughs> everybody, everybody, crush her right here. Crush her, crush her, take a bow, take a bow, crush her. Um, <laughs> this makes me happier than a possum eating a sweet taser. He, he taught it to me. Uh, I don't I, understand I, I what it means. Doctor. The doctor, ladies and gentlemen, the doctor, the doctor, give him, give him a round of applause right there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Did you um, lift him? Yeah, I'd lift him so everybody could see him. Uh, <laughs> Jack and Ryland appear with just mugs and mugs of beer, just handing them all out what's to all the, of you. What's the big guy that she wants? To, that he wants the contest. Harold. To... Harold. Oh wait, they're there. <laughs> Harold. Is you there. see Harold and his group there. Oh, Harold is my favorite. Like Harold is like just like. Gonna go get your girlfriend. And he like Two runs. Buddies. Up, huh? Two buddies. He he runs up and like hugs you it's and like been picks like you a up. While. Yeah, it's been like just, just seventeen. Extreme years. excitement so for you. It is not, not easy. How do you, Amelia? No God. Sees you and runs over to oh, you uh, um, and hugs you around the neck. I'm so glad you're safe. I hug back. It's like la 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 la. I hug back, not expecting that reaction after. Everything? You murdered her fiance. That would be something. Thank you for reminding me, Crusher. I appreciate it. I'm going to go hug Jack and Ryland like double hard and drink. They're going to give you like also a nice hug. So it's like this like three person like good hug. I didn't care for them. I like <laughs> Harold a lot. Ryland gives you a bag. I do like Harold. Um, heard you liked this. <laughs> You hear buzzing in the back. Oh, yes! <laughs> uh, I started a colony out on my island, but they're not, they're not building fast enough. It's starting to be frustrating. This is exactly right. You're getting the a queen. Don't they work on a queen structure? That's probably it. Yeah. He uncomfortably just like, okay, and like walks away. <laughs> I'm um, going to go find Harold, too. Oh, you him. don't have to go far. He's hugging Crusher. Yeah, I punch him in the face. He laughs and like punches you in the arm. Oh I, I imagine we happen. retreat pretty fast, like me and him, and like he sees you and like picks you up like back. Like you know how like, you pick up cats, like wee. He picks you up like that and then like hugs you. And in the back corner, where all like is Valor. Valor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> suddenly Valor hears that. You see the two fear bogs that you had helped in the forest before, the chieftain and his daughter. Oh, oh you, you were there. Been there. I was there. For the Wendigo. No, I don't remember them. You, yeah. Oh, I yeah, hated you. them too. Yeah. Yeah. They were weirdly <laughs> cult. Yeah. Yeah. In addition, I loved the dragon. I loved, uh, in addition uh, to them, you also see Lorna hanging out with them, and you oh, see yeah. Lorna and the Doc and I go and hang out at the table because well, we only know well, each other. Well, <laughs> um, okay. You see the two Firbolgs, you see Lorna hanging out with them, and you also see the dragon in his human form hanging out with them as well. And they, they all, like, all of them give you a look and, like, a raise the glass kind of thing. Lorna runs over to you and sweeps you off your feet. She's so strong. <laughs> we didn't even like. I go to our dragon friend, of course, she's I couldn't let a true hero die. And arriving late, like after all of you have all settled, Amara appears with Sari and Runner. They are, um, Runner has new ropes now. His are actually a little nicer. Um, Sari's are as well. Amara looks the same. Beautiful. Our runner, she has for the last 35 years. Are Runner's nicer than Sari's? No. <laughs> Sari's are nicer than Runner's because unfortunately Sari is... Yeah, higher ranking, uh, so to speak. I just give minor, your ropes. minor, <laughs> minor illusion them to be garbage looking. Runner sees y'all and he, like, he he's about to run, but then he remembers protocol and is like, no, I have to behave. You see Amara like just whisper something to him, and he bolts over and like 
almost trips, but runs over to y'all's table and like gives you a giant hug. He never goes over there. No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of ironic, yeah. Sorry, just kind of rolls his eyes and goes to stand at the bar. Looking so fancier over. there. I've been training a lot. Curious to see what else you can do. I am too. <laughs> Did they call us in just for the party? That's enough for me. And <laughs> you see um, Susan, the barmaid, she's or the bar owner, she jumps up on top of the bar. Everyone! Tumaka and her group of friends! <laughs> I go, son of a bitch! <laughs> and a, a loud toast, a wild party, and we've reached the end. Aw, yay! yay. <laughs> Sorry we didn't have a break in this one. I, I expected... Oh, I just got up when I had to... Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, yeah, expected the, the fight with the maker to go a little longer. But anyways, I want to thank everyone for joining us for this harrowing year-long adventure yeah. in the land of Faloran. Everyone, a round of applause again for our DM for this yeah. adventure that she came up with. Everybody, this was this was a Cora, <laughs> produ a Cora production. Thank you. Thank you. I like Renner, don't know how to take compliments. Would you, like, would you prefer that? No, I like it. Oh, so I, I give that half orc boy too. I Adam. Hate in, I didn't hate everyone. I like those three people. That we met. <laughs> and Angela. You like the Bobby dragon Bobby. who you worship. Yeah. The half orc and Clancy. <laughs> Actually, that's that's not who I worship. You want to see who I worship? I drew them. What were you going to say? Oh, I give Runner a big big hug. Yeah. Oh, he go he makes the rounds. I yeah. No, no, no. I'm also going to make fun of him Lorna because he hesitated to run. So many gun modifications by now. That's what my gods look like. Don't what like is? that. <laughs> no, no, no. That's uh, that's pretty terrifying. Oh, oh, it's Moon Knight. Illithids. Illithids. Mind flayers. They're not mind no, flayers. No. No, they're actual deities. They're called the Zonics. Nice. I just didn't know, like, right. the group. Thank you, you so know. much. Kind of this was course. great. I had a lot of fun with this, and I hope all of you enjoy oh, God, watching yes. and reading, and I hope my players enjoy playing. Yes. Yeah. See, um, we do not have a game currently set for the foreseeable future. In order to find out more about when we will be playing D&D &D more, please be sure to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at SCNS Live where we will be posting more information regarding that. But until then, always remember to keep, keep on nerding. nerding. And have a good time. And be a dice goblin, don't be afraid. <laughs> what does dice goblin sound like? That is in fact what a dice goblin sounds like. That.